Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard. I'm your host, Edward. Happy to be joined by this dude. I'm Kyle. All right. Sore Kyle at that. Right. Rugby season has started. It's a good sore. We, li <laughs> we like it. <laughs> All right. Today we got a good one. Uh, Fields of Despair, designed by Kurt Keckley and published by GMT Games. I have had this on my shelf for way, way, way too long. And when I reorganize the library, I have an entire shelf dedicated to war games of, oh, yeah. these are the ones that I want to get played. This was on it. Kyle was like, yeah, let's do it. So we're doing it. Here we are. So excited about this. We've gone, we've never played the full game. No. To be clear, we are not playing the full game today either. We are playing a scenario two, which is much like scenario one with a little little bit of a change. Good change. Yeah, me. yeah, for you. Uh, so, so what this is? It's a World War One. Uh, it's a block war game at the outset of World War One, and I was fascinated by it, mostly thanks to, um, uh, oh God, hardcore history. Uh, Dan, I can't think, of, think of Dan. Neither can I. Carlin, there you go. Dan Carlin's uh, amazing series on World War One That got me interested in the game, or got me interested in the history, which then got me interested in the game. Yeah. And so it's a block war game. If you are unfamiliar with block war games, you'll pick it up pretty quick by watching. I am not going to do a full teach uh, on this. We're going to do a rolling teach. I'll do an overview of how this goes. Uh, there's just too much. And to be clear... We, you were not going to see the full game today. Uh, obviously, I said we're only doing scenario two, which is 1914. And the war obviously went till 1918. The reason you won't see everything is because we're just doing 1914. And so you're not going to see the majority of the trench warfare and stuff like that. We're, this is the mobile war, it says, which is uh, the, the initial... It's not really Blitzkrieg back then, but the initial push by the Central Powers uh, and then the French trying to hold on for dear life yep. is, is basically, basically it. Uh, so, like I said, not going to do a full teach, but you'll pick it up as we go through. By the end of the first turn or the first set of activations, I think folks will pretty much have the the gist of it. Yeah, I would agree. It's it's not a hard game. It's really not. As far as war games go, this is this is relatively straightforward, I think. Follow, yeah. Follow the steps. It really is. And don't don't rush. That that's yeah. the big thing. Uh, all right. So you ready, sir? I'm ready. All right. Hopefully y'all are ready. Let's go and get to it. So here we go. Fields of despair. So what is it y'all are looking at here? Well, if you look we have the main map here. Now, obviously, we have the, uh, we, it's a dice game. So that's just, it, if anybody is over here, then we have seriously, and by we, I mean I, you have, have seriously messed up. So blocking off that corner, there you go. That's what it looks like. You're not going to see it again there. All right. So what is it you're looking at? So we have uh, the, the, the Western Front, really, is what you have here. So we have Paris. Over here, we have the Allies following along everywhere you see the Ally, or kind of the British, but the Ally markers here. That is the front line as it is at the beginning of World War I. And then we have the bad guys, the Germans slash Central Powers. I will probably use those terms interchangeably. Just know that they have control all on that side of things. Kyle is playing the Central Powers, which are all the black blocks. Mm -hmm. I am playing the Allies, which are everything else. So the short-lived Belgian blocks up here, the orange ones. We have the uh, British 
or English, if you will, whatever the UK up here, uh, they will be coming from in there. And then predominantly, we have Viva la France. We have the French units all through here. Over on this part of the board, we're using some of it, uh, but again, uh, over, if you take a look there, we have the US entry track. Uh, the US isn't gonna come in, because um, we're only playing 1914. Theoretically, I suppose there is the tiniest of tiny chances, but to the point of, I haven't even stickered the US block, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. So that's pretty much, just skip that yeah. aspect of it. The uh, unrestricted submarine warfare probably is going to come into play here, uh, as well as the naval blockade for the British here. We have the turn track, so we start right there, which is the uh, the initial offensive by the Central, Central Powers or the Germans pushing up through Belgium. That's where we're going to start. And then these are the three rounds or three turns that we are going to be playing. Past that, we, we don't need to worry. There's actually a trench warfare chit here. I just put it there just to let y'all know that if we were to play the whole game and the whole game would take all day, uh, then that's what it would be. Now, moving our way down, we have the general information track. The Eastern Front here starts at nine. That's pretty much moot yeah. as well, as well as the Eastern Front track here. In the full game, the Central Powers can lose the game immediately if the, Russian, if the Russians have three major victories. That's not going to, this track effectively is not coming into play at all in this scenario as well. The victory point markers, however, those are going to come into play. And at the end of each round, we're going to have a scoring and mostly the goal of the game, for the most part, is going to be whoever has the most victory points. There are a couple other ways that our scenario could end, but I digress, that's pretty much it. So we're going to be using the PTZ almost exclusively today. Uh, moving in and focusing on where the various battles are going to take place. Obviously, there is a fog of war aspect to where I can see at my blocks. Now, at the beginning of the game, in the setup, Kyle knows the values of all of my blocks and vice versa. A, I set his up, but also B, it's in the scenario as well. Yep. All right. So we know the layout of this, but once the game begins, there's going to be a fog of war aspect where I won't know necessarily what these blocks are and what they represent, all right? Now, also, over here in my area, Kyle's looks very similar to mine, except, you know, it's the dirty, you know, central power stuff. So we have the artillery chits, as well as the artillery maintenance, aka how much artillery can I actually have? Then we have uh, air power, which this is strictly used for reconnaissance to find out what the blocks are on the other side and to stop the other side from trying to peek at my blocks as well. And this is the total power that I'm allowed to have for that. The supply capacity, this is how many hexes I can supply in a given, at any given moment, uh, may or may not come into play as, uh, as the game progresses. Technology advancements minorly will come into play in our scenario, but we're going to be able to use um, uh, EPs economic points. or economic points to be able to uh, both uh, boost the quantity of these things as well as to advance our technology. And the reason this is going to matter is as the war goes on, being able to use poison gas against each other as well as... Um, having gas masks, which offsets uh, the use of poison gas. Obviously, I will have access to tanks as the game goes on, and Kyle has use of shock troops or stormtroopers. Mm -hmm. And then uh, aircraft improvements, stronger, better, faster aircraft. But again, aircraft are strictly used for reconnaissance and dogfighting. The dogfighting means to stop the other side from using reconnaissance, all right? Lastly, we have legacy points. Legacy points are basically um, action points that we can use to be able to do various things either uh, 
Yeah, mostly in the actual meat of the game. Logistics points. What did I say? Legacy points. My bad. Wrong game. I, That's next week. I, Mr. President, sir. I yes, didn't realize right. here. So, logistics points. <laughs> Apologies. And then the other thing that y'all see right up here is our troop supply. Now, I have an obnoxious amount of the British troops. I'm going to use a pittance of those because I only get like one or two blocks every round. So this is kind of comical. These range from these, the majority of these are one to fours, some are five to eights, others are nine to twelves, 13 to 16, and the big boys, which are 17 to 20. These are all infantry. All of those with the uh, with the X NATO symbol in the middle, and then there is one with the, just a single slash that is yellow. That represents uh, cavalry, or if you were a Monty Python fan, the you know the coconuts. There you go. Also, that also goes for the French troops, uh, one to fours, so on and so forth, all the way to the big ones. You'll also notice that there are deception blocks. Each uh, unit ha or each um, country, I should say, has a number of these. Uh, the Central Powers have some, the French have some, and the British have some as well. And let's see. So each side has four total between the British and the French on my end, four for the Central Powers as well. Now, if you take a look, you can kind of see the gist of Kyle's blocks there as well. His are all just the black blocks which represent the central powers. All right, so that's everything you're looking at. Now, what is it we're trying to do in the game? Well, there are three ways in which you can win this scenario. That's all I'm gonna talk about is this scenario, okay? So uh, there is what's called a decisive victory, a domination victory, and total victory. Oh. All right, decisive victory is if the Central Powers control Paris at the end of my action phase at any point, Gay Perry is right there. That's not going to happen. Well, the Allies win if there are no Central Power controlled hexes in France at the end of turn two, meaning the line is at least here as you see it. And there are no black blocks anywhere in here, or you know these nasty markers inside of France. Unlikely. Unlikely as well. Fair. The domination victory is if either power victory points is six or more than the other side. If so, then basically the other side just capitulates, saying, "Okay, it's done." You have too many points. You win, as as happened in real life. Exactly. Uh, or. If neither player has achieved either of those, the player with the most victory points at the end of turn three is the winner. Mm -hmm. Ties are possible. So that would be an armistice at that point, I would say. Yeah. Uh, all right. So trench warfare theoretically began right here in 1915. And everyone's dug in, and then it becomes a, becomes a war of attrition. We are simulating the before that aspect. The mobile war. Yes. All right. So that is what we're trying to do. Now, the game takes place over a fairly procedural series of steps. We're going to go through all of these. But before we do so, our scenario actually starts with what's called the 1914 opening move. Now, the 1914 opening move there right there, Kyle has the option of foregoing it if he would like. Kind would of you like to, to? Kind of you to offer, but no, I will take my opening move. Okay, all right, fair enough. Now, we're also playing on the honor system here. Hi, we're back. Hello. There we are. Um, we're playing on the honor system in that I can only make the screen so small. On top of that, uh, I need to be able to monitor that I'm on the right cameras mm. and such. So if Kyle wants to peek and see the value of my blocks and ruin being a good sport, he can do so. But I have faith that he will not. 
It's a gentleman's war. It, it really is. I mean, seriously, this I, is. I mean, it it would it would really ruin it. The, the, it would. The blocks, the the obfuscation of the blocks is intense. In our pre-play, it was intense. It was. So. And on top of that, I mean, it was a gentleman's war until the first charge into machine gun fire. Yeah. I reckon. Then they realized, oh, stuff's changed. It's not the best. No, not so much. All right. Um, yeah, so Scott, real quick, uh, he asks, is this a good starter for block war games or far advanced? I think you could get your feet wet with this. There are easier entry points, I would argue. Uh, honestly, I think the best system for entering is uh, Columbia uh, Games' um, like uh, Hammer of the Scots, mm. Richard III, all of those. Um, those are great entry to block war games. I'll be honest, though. I think you could, if you play heavy Euros, I think you could handle this. That's where I'm coming in. I, I'm new to block board games before this, and besides Edward and I talking about it, getting the pre-play in, it's my first one. I, I don't think it's beyond me. You know, I have a little bit of the war games background, but never block stuff, so yeah, and, it, gets, and it, it gets my vote as the first one. Yeah, I, I don't think it's too complex, um, but if you're a little intimidated by it, then, like I said, I think the Columbia Games series, it was great. That's where I got my feet wet, and I think it did a really good job. But that said, we're here to focus on Fields of Despair. So, what do we got? All right, so we start with the uh, opening move, and let me see. I didn't actually, I'll be honest, I didn't really set this up all All these cameras... This. I know, I know. Let's see. Ah, yeah, there. Perfect. Yeah, it's focused enough. All right. So what's going to happen right now is we're going to actually jump into the meat of this because a one round, and we're playing three of these, is all of this. However, the opening move, which is the meat of the game, I would argue, is step 4-1 four, to 4-4. Four, four. And that is actually where Kyle is starting. So he's doing the action phase, starting with aerial dogfighting and reconnaissance, block movement, combat, and then possible breakout moves in combat from there. So we're going to walk through this very slowly for turn one and for this part. And then in turn two and three, we're going to rock and roll through it a yep, little bit. Absolutely. But just to show you all this, uh, so we're starting with ju the Germans actually... Central Powers, get back-to-back -back activations, honestly, because they started the war and their uh, entry into Belgium was kind of unexpected. And so, boom, this happens. And then we start back here and then we'll run through the whole thing for round one. So with that said, Sir Kyle, oh. or is it... Uh, it, what, Kaiser, huh. Kaiser, uh, so. Kaiser Kyle. I don't know I if I'll sign up to that. Okay, <laughs> all right, fair enough. All right, so um, here we go. So aerial uh, dogfighting reconnaissance. Dogfighting cannot happen until turn two. So really, this is aerial reconnaissance. So I'm just going to get the opportunity to send out some planes, early tech. They're not fighting each other yet. I'm just going to go have a look. Now, as Edward said, we have a, I know what everything is because we yeah. set it up and we talked through it, but to show it. Sure. I'm this gonna, is how it would work. I, the active player, get to place out, face down, my aerial reconnaissance tokens in hexes I want to take a look at. Yep. In the future, when there's dogfighting, when it makes sense to, Edward could counter with his own tokens and try to fight back, try to send my planes packing. Yep. Now, in this case, I just get to do it kind of, uh, kind of for free. He, he does. He has carte blanche. And they're going to come back because yes. we know that this is the... Uh, they're going to refresh before yeah, our next action. Exactly. Phase. So, okay. So, theoretically, I would be able to respond, there's no point. So, okay. Oh, hey, what did he choose? And he has five ones and value. A, and a zero. And a zero, but the zero is kind of a cow's opinion. It is moo. So, what happens now is, okay, they survived. Like, there's no combat. I couldn't fight them off. So, now he gets to tilt the blocks over, and he gets to see what they are. So, the value that is at the top of the block says what it is. So here, I'll go ahead and bring it in a little bit tighter so you all can see. Obviously, all of those are two strength blocks. They are infantry. We know that because of the, the X mm -hmm. that's on the, uh, the symbol right there. And then finally, you'll also notice that each of those areas also has a fortress. Now, he knew that ahead of time, and it's a two-value fortress. But now he knows, <gasps> shockingly, each of these is a two-value infantry unit. Yep. Okay, so there, that's, that's, that's reconnaissance. 
Okay, done. These will come back to my board, go and use, but they'll refresh before the next phase. Right. So, so not worried. Okay. About it. Now those stay face down or face up, as it were, visible, I should say, to the opposition. So that is essentially reconnaissance. Now, block movement. Mm -hmm. All right. Now there are a number of rules in general about this, but here's the important thing that you need to know. And go ahead, it's your movement. You tell folks about it. Go so for it. infantry can move up to two. Cavalry can move up to three. And then obviously there's movements about running into the enemy, creating contested hexes. We'll come into that maybe a little later. I'm getting yeah, into some Yeah, yeah, just around. know um, for those that are more familiar with terminology, they're sticky blocks. Yeah. So when you reach the enemy, you stop. They're sticky. Yeah. So, okay. So as part of my opening, the special opening move in the 1914 scenario two, I am basically rushing Belgium. I need to establish my presence in the north, Specifically, I actually can't enter any French hexes right now. Right. I can move around on my own side and come this way. So I'm going to work my way up the board, make some movements, and then we'll get into the fun stuff. Up and here. each block can only move like once. Like when it's yeah. done moving, that's it. Combat happens when all the movement is done. Yes. All right. So first block this one, I'm going to send it one, two into Belgium. We'll adjust the front lines later. Uh, these two blocks, I'm going to send one, two up to try to push the front line through Belgium. This block I'm gonna send one, two. It's my reinforcements coming from Koblenz. And now we'll do some fun stuff. Oh, wee! I'm gonna send this block one, two through the Ardennes to go and attack Namur. And these two blocks are gonna hammer down on Liège. And that is the end of my movement. I'm gonna leave these all in place. I'm happy where these all are defending my southern line. Okay, all right, so that is block movement. Now combat happens. Combat, um, now what I will do, I will show you all this. Now each of these steps, as it were, so uh, aerial dogfighting reconnaissance, we've already worked our way through it. Here's all the stuff on block movement. We'll talk about that in detail once we actually get into the main activations. Uh, the combat sequence, artillery, fire, then the active player, the active player is whose activation are we on? In this case, that is Kyle of the Central Powers. Their option to end combat after artillery, because maybe artillery really did a bad job. Yeah. And uh, on second thought, we're gonna stay back and not attack. And then infantry slash cavalry combat. So we then move over here to artillery fire. Artillery says alternative, or uh, I'm sorry, alternate placement of artillery counters. Resolve all hexes, reducing SPs. You're gonna hear, see that and hear that a lot. SPs are strength points or the value. So those Belgian blocks have two strength points each. And then, and then here, oh, there you go. As they get uh, damaged, they will rotate counterclockwise to be a lower number. And if they were to ever get to be zero, they would go back into the force pool. So they're not removed from the game, although in the Belgian case, they're removed They're from removed the game. From the game. Um, anyway, so then we resolve all hexes without revealing blocks. Now, obviously, those that have been revealed via reconnaissance, those stay revealed, but I don't get to see what the CP, mm -hmm. what the central powers are. And then artillery fire may never reduce SPs in a hex to zero. So in other words, um, I guess we got a little ahead of ourselves, that you can never completely clear a hex with just artillery, you gotta send in the troops yeah. to do the next. No, the last bit. guy's gonna bunker down, he'll wait for you, you have to charge. Yep. And then uh, there's stuff about uh, fortress hexes, Big Bertha and all that, and we'll hear about that uh, as we go along. So we start off with artillery fire, starting with all alternating, alternating placement of artillery counters. So, all right. Now, we both know that our artillery is going to refresh, geez, easy for me to say, at the end of this. Now, we also both know what our capabilities are. So let me bring that over there. So that's my artillery. That is his artillery. So I have a 32110. He has a 43210. And the four is Big Bertha and Kyle will talk about that. So we're going to start alter, uh, by alternating uh, placing these out here. Yep. Now, outside of this first move, 
we would be able to place them in various other places. But as it is, right now, it's all Belgium. Yeah, so. there's only two contested hexes. Uh, yeah, right, so those are the only two that we can go into. So I will start. So similar to aerial dogfighting, I'm just going to put that one right there. Okay. And I will place, let's see, there. I will place here. So at any point, someone could pass, but the other person can keep going. Right. When we get into the real action sequence, these do not refresh between opportunities, so you have to be a little more careful. Right, but now, now it's... We'll fire it's everything. Right, fire yeah. guns. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I'll pass because... Yeah, because we have the zeros. The, so, the zeros yeah, 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 so. it, it doesn't make, make much sense. So uh, I'm going to actually bring this out just a little. There we go. All right. So go ahead, flip them all over. All right. This hex, I sent Big Bertha, Choo Choo. And you put in a two and a one. Yep. And then in this hex, I sent my other two. I sent my three and my two. That is a big number of artillery. And you sent your one. And you three. Yeah, this this will probably be the biggest artillery battle we see probably right till the very, very end. Yep. Um, okay. All right. So now you choose, as the uh, active player, where we're going to start. We'll start with Big Bertha. Okay. I, I think that'll be fun. Okay. So explain it. So in particular, Big Bertha, it's a special piece for the Central Powers. You can see it uh, has the black background here. I can spend one of my logistics points to turn uh, her into the railgun, which effectively allows me to take a a more powerful shot at the fortress. Fortresses give some bonuses against defending to artillery, so I'm gonna use the opportunity early game, I'm gonna spend one of my logistics points, and I'm gonna fire the railgun at the fortress in Namur. Okay, all right, so you are rolling, uh, the, so the, the quantity of your artillery is the number of dice you're rolling. Yep. And you hit on? Fives and sixes right now with Big Bertha. Right. Everything else is going to end up hitting on sixes because of the fortress. Right. So, here we go. Fives and sixes. Uh, that'd be one. Got it. So, that fortress is going to flip over to the one side. Okay, done. Take your dice back. And dice. I, on the other hand, I have a total strength value or artillery value of two and one for three plus the fortress. And this is simultaneous yes so what that's actually a two for i believe so let this, me i i can't remember if big bertha gets to fire first i'm gonna have my one that i have here left over uh, is gonna get to shoot now just hitting on sixes right um big bertha is a special piece when you spend the logistics point turn it into the rail gun you get to do uh let me here you get a, you get a special phase of artillery fire go ahead and fire your other one if you want no miss all right, give me one second while I double check that. Um, because the infantry combat, I know, but I can't remember about Big Bertha. Yeah. Ch -ch -ch Artillery fire. Infantry combat is simultaneous. So right. even though I might deal with a load of hits. Look that up. I think it is. Rolled before any other CP artillery dice. They're rolled on a five or six. Oh. And no. all hits are applied to the fortress before a block. So, so never up. mind. So I have a total of two, three, four, and I'm hitting on fives and sixes as well. And that'd be two of them. All right. So now he takes them under the blocks. Artillery doesn't get hit. No. It is forts or fortresses and blocks. So now you'll notice, okay, he's taking that off. Replacing it with something behind, I don't know. Now, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll leave it at that, that yeah. that's fine. So now artillery, these go into the used artillery. There, and now we have the other artillery. So you're at, I'm rolling. you're five and I'm rolling six because even if he hits, Big Bertha being the, the oddball, uh, gets a hit early. These do not. So, if you would like. So, there you go. Got one, which the first hit applied to the fortress. Right. Which knocks that down. And I have six. Six. Fives and sixes. Terrible, terrible, uh, terrible. Good, good news, everyone. Okay. Good news. All right. So, that is artillery fire. 
or not in my case. All right. Ah, uh, let's see. Cool. Um, so now you have the opportunity to not fight infantry, if no. you would like. No, we're going over the top. Okay, so now, with that said, here we go. Not the best artillery fire, but that's all right. Okay, so now, it is the numbers facing us, okay? Because y'all are playing from my point of view. So we have the Belgians here, a two strength and a one fortress up against a 15 strength horde. Mongol horde. Well organized, well drilled. Uh huh. And then uh, over there in, where is this one? This Liege. is in Li Liege. Liege. Uh, 17 infantry and three horses. Okay. Uh, Odds look good for you, Edward. Yeah, no. Okay, so now we go into actual combat. So this is through these. So he could have chosen to not. Uh, as it were, the active player selects a hex and declares infantry combat. Now, this is important to note that he does not need to declare, I'm going to fight here, then I'm going to fight there, then I'm going to... No, he's just saying we're going to fight here. So all I know is he said, yes, we are going to fight in one of the blocks, which or X. So where are we going to go? We'll, we'll start with the big one. Okay. So we're starting there. All right. So then the passive player has the option to retreat or reinforce. Okay. Let me pause there for a moment. I could retreat. If I retreat, I have to retreat to a friendly uh, hex, whether it's contested or... Uh, not. Now, to be clear, these are all my hexes yep. right now because we're in Belgium. So I could retreat to say here to here. I could retreat to there. But it costs the logistics point mm -hmm. to retreat. Or I could reinforce. Reinforce means I could spend a logistics point to move up to five strength from an from a... Uh, adjacent adjacent yeah, yeah. hex into there. However, the catch here is I have to leave at least one strength point, or at least one block, I should say. Can't abandon your post. All uh, right, then that doesn't make sense. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and sit on my logistics points and not. So uh, I'm gonna let the Belgians fight to the death here, as it were. So then we reveal all blocks, and then we roll one d6 per strength point, we'll get there, and then we'll resolve simultaneously. Hits are scored on fives and sixes. However, the passive player ignores fives if friendly fortress is in hex, which that is. Yep. All right, uh, and then we'll figure out uh, once trench warfare begins, which that's not going to come into play in our game. All right, so technically, that is like that. Technically. All right, so it is, you are rolling 20 strength points. So I'm rolling three dice. And the reason for that is, yeah, here, um, show folks this here. There we go. So combat table for hits on sixes. So what is his total strength? His total strength is 20. So he's gonna roll three dice, and then however many, the total pip value, look at how many hits he takes out. It's that simple. Yep. So it's just easier to do it on this one. And I mean, looking at it here, I need to hit at least three to clear the hex. I'm looking for 10, 11. I need an average roll at least. All right. So, and the reason three, because there's a fortress there. There's a fortress right. there as well. So, all right. So you're rolling three dice. And again, you could roll buckets of dice. You could roll 20. Could. If you want. So I'll leave you the option. If you would like to, you can. No, that's okay. Okay, all right. That appears to be a 12. So, And then looking at, here, let's go back to it. Sure. So the 12, ah, get over here. There we go. So a 12, cross-reference over to 20. That is four hits. Let's see. One, two, three. Dead. All right. Well, that sucked. So I remove all of these. Yeah, 
we'll just put them, because I could put them back here, but they don't ever come back. They're not coming back. They're not. Am I going to get a breakout move? You, you are. So we're going to go ahead and put that hat or that shit right there to show. What that means is he gets a lesser follow-up mm -hmm. move in attack if he wants to use it after all regular combat is done. So now, are you done with combat, sir? No, I will be continuing. Okay, and we I'm... go through the same steps. Same process. Okay, there we go. All right, so roll your. what are you rolling? So I have 15, and okay. again, I'm still rolling on sixes. Or hitting on sixes. Before right. we go, you get to roll two dice to fire back at me. Combat is silent. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Good call. So, uh, you might, you might pit me down a guy or two. And... Right. And what we're talking about is the two infantry. It is simultaneous. I hit on fives and sixes because I have the fortress. Yep. Hey, at least, at least they got one. So now, now that I took the, now that, uh, I should say Kyle got hit, he as the hit, er, hit E, I guess, the recipient of the wound, um, he has to choose how to take the damage. He could do cavalry, he could do infantry. I'm gonna leave my cavalry up. I'm gonna drop this from a 17 to a 16. Yep. Obviously I can't rotate it down anymore, so I need to replace it with a 16 block for my supply. Now, he could have replaced it with others, Does like a eight and an eight. Or 10 and a six, or right. whatever you want. Provided you have the blocks in your force pool available. Yep. Let's say he had all of his blocks out on the board and he couldn't step that down, that means they all died. Yes. Or he would have had to have pipped down the cavalry, which probably, probably would have happened. Probably would have, And you are capped at three blocks, three blocks per player per hex. Yep. Although there was a little bit of confusion, I'll be honest, about um, like, it's three blocks per country. Per side. We can each, it's six total, but we can break it during movement, during right. organization, provided you break it in the action to move your pieces around, and then at the end of the turn, everything's got to be three. Right. So, there we go. All right. So now, it sounds like we are going to fight on that one. Yep. So, you're on 15. So, still hitting on sixes. So, we're rolling on the, the worst table. Total is a Nine. nine. Oh, I don't think that's good enough. No, uh, I would say that is nine good enough. Nine. Let's see, nine rolling on 15. It's only two hits. Oh, okay. So now before we do anything, I also should roll. So I'm rolling two because the fortress is already swung. Yep. Right. Fortress so is speak. artillery. Fives and six. That, two Ooh. hits. I'll take it. These Belgians, man. That is, that is non-trivial, the fact that they held out. So... The first hit goes to the fortress. So that's gone. And then obviously I only have one other, but he held on. <sighs> and what the important thing, why that matters here is he does not get a breakout on that one. And therefore those troops are effectively stuck. stuck. So now the others that have a breakout move can move, but that is awesome. That was a big, big, big defense on my end. Now, if I move in here, do I trigger a new combat? I can't remember. The breakout combat's a little fiddly. Do I get to Let me double check that. Hold on. All right, talk amongst yourselves. So... so what we're looking up is when you take a breakout move, I'm gonna get to move my cavalry two and my infantry one, a little lesser movement as you bust through the enemy trenches. This is only one away, Namor is. I could move into that space, but and potentially initiate a new combat, but the, the rules for the breakout combat are fairly specific about what other things have happened, where the pieces are coming from, what's there. So I just want to confirm because, you know, I feel confident 13 can beat one on fives and sixes, but if I could trigger another combat there right now. All right, so here we go. Talking about breakouts okay. now, okay? So we'll, we'll go ahead and, well, all combat's done, I should, I should point out. So with combat done, these actually stand back up. Yep. Okay, combat's done. Now we go into breakout combat, okay? Uh, or breakout movement and combat. Yep. Um, so all breakout movement is completed before any combats happen, just like in regular movement, how that happens. Um, it is possible for blocks performing separate breakout moves to end in the same hex and participate in combat together. Uh, during a breakout move, cavalry can advance two hexes, infantry one hex. So in other words, 
They can't make it there. I could oh, send, the I cavalry. Could send, I could send my three horses that way, but <laughs> the Belgians seem tougher than they look. <laughs> right. Um, let's see. Uh, breakout movement follows all the rules of regular movement. Um, we don't worry about uh, trench warfare, breakout combat. If a hex becomes newly contested, ah. newly contested as a result of breakout movement, a, com a breakout combat marker is placed in a hex and the combat sequence is followed. Now, let's, let's, let's unpack that. This, is or this hex in Nimur is already contested. It's got good guys and bad guys whichever side you, you have an opinion on, but it has blocks of both belligerents. Yes. So it is already contested. So if he were to move, he can, but because it's already contested, it will not be newly contested. Ergo, there will not be combat during this. Yes. So in other words, we can live in the same hex, but there will be combat if either side initiates it again, the following activation yep. sequence. So. Suffice to say, I can break out move in there, but I'm just reinforcing the Siege of Namur. I've not yeah, initiated right, yeah. any combat, so yep. uh, I will take my breakout move here. I'm going to move this block to here, and then during the course of movement, I'm going to break this block down sure. into two new blocks. And, and again, obviously all of this is done on the honor system, but if you're playing a game with somebody, I imagine it's honorable, so you can do so. So, yeah. So this was my big block. This was my 16. I, when I move it, I'm actually going to split it into two smaller forces. Okay, well, I, the total number that he just exchanged was 16, right? Yep. I just don't know if he did like 1 in 15 or what, and hence the, 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 yeah. the hiding of that. By the way, can you stand up the Antwerp Belgians, yes. please? Yes, no combat occurred there. I got to right. see who was there, but I don't right. get to fight them yet. All right. So you are now done with all of your movement, uh, your breakout movement, and there is no breakout combat. We take the shit off. Thus ends that. Oh, not as good as not as good as the CP needed in the first round, I think. Yeah. So so interestingly enough, in scenario one, the intro scenario, the intro scenario actually begins right now, and this is the exact same as the initial opening except for what we just did yeah in when we play the intro scenario i already start with these two correct and i have to go attack antwerp failed i'm now worse off than i was <laughs> and, however this is this is also really really important the front line has moved ah yes okay now why this matters is oh, we're gonna it is implied that way we don't have chits all through all of these it's unnecessary to have those. It's implied that everything behind the front line is that side's control. It's a little weird in Belgium, but... It, it, oh, hold on. You went in through the Ardennes. Yeah, I went this way. So, yeah. So, that would be there. And then that one, because I went through there. I haven't touched this hex yet. Right. So, so to, that, that to me, I think... There, works. there, there, up to there. Yeah, that, that checks out. Now, what matters here, victory point-wise... You'll notice that this right here says victory point 1914 only. If you're playing that scenario, or maybe in the bigger game, it only applies in 1914. Yes. This is going to be a victory point for the CP. One time. One time. It's a little confusing to say one time. Yeah. It's not one time. What it means is... He can only benefit one victory point total throughout the whole game from that hex. If I were to take it back over, he would lose that victory point, but then he could gain it again if he controls it during the scoring. But the most this hex will ever give him is one point. Yep. And once okay. I take it, if you somehow push back through Belgium and take it back from me, it's a point for you. It is a point for me. So, all right. And all my points are permanent. Kyle's are not. Yes. All right. So, thus ends the intro. The special action. Yeah, the special action. Okay. Whew. All right. I think that went relatively well. Well, that's an opinion. I mean, for the Belgians. I mean, considering historically, I'd say they're, they're happy. Yeah, they're swinging right now. All right. So, we, uh, here we go. Sequence of play. Advanced turn marker. We did. All right. The U.S. entry. Um, here, hold on. I want everybody to be able to watch this. This is cool. Ready? Go. 
Whoop. Oh. Hey. All right, cool. All right, next is resolve the Eastern Front. Now, this is where it completely changes from the real game. Yeah. The Eastern Front, we would do stuff over here. We're not. Because otherwise, it, it effectively gives you carte blanche and has no impact on your game negatively. Normally, the Central Powers are fighting a two-front game, yep. the East Front and the Western Front. And so to rep represent that, in our scenario, and that is here in the playbook, we each get economy points. And so at the beginning of this, the production here, I'm going to get four, six, and eight respectively, each of my turns. Uh, the CP, or Kyle, is going to get eight, 10, and 12. But because we're not playing with the full Eastern Front scenario, I get one less a turn to model that. I am sending resources there. It's draining the central powers economy, but we don't play the whole sub game, which involves drawing cubes from a bag. I have to fight the Russians, spend resources, but uh, in the shorter game, I'm this bag's not used. It's not used. So, so I'm so, just always going to get one less economic point. Right. So you get seven, I get four. Yeah. Those are represented by cubes. You get four. I do. Coming over to Sad. That is uh, a sad low number. Big four for you. Mm. And I will take my, usually would be eight, but is seven because we're playing. For the Eastern Front stuff. Exactly. So that actually saves quite a bit of time. Yeah. Uh, from a gameplay standpoint. But again, if that would not necessarily be the case if you maybe might go past round three, but we're not. Yeah. In so. theory, you could just keep playing. And yeah. go all the way to wherever you wanted to go to. But we know we are hard stopping at the end of turn three, so... Right, so we can do that. All right, welcome to the production phase. All right, so economic maintenance. E economic maintenance says uh, everything goes down. So, uh, by going down, um, the artillery track goes down one, your air maintenance track goes down one, and your supply capacity goes down one. Now... If you were in any of these higher numbers, the 21 or higher, it would go down two, and then once you're out of that, it wouldn't go down. So 21 would go to 19, but then it would just drop one each subsequent turn. Yep. So that is economic maintenance, meaning you have to maintain your stuff, so it's obviously costing you some to maintain that if you wish to do so. Wear and tear. And then there is manpower deployment and attrition. We don't have any of the uh, attrition whatsoever. But we do get reinforcements. We do get, and that is represented here on this. And so if you look, Paris gets 15 troops and England gets four. And then Koblenz gets a 30 and the blocks only go up to 20. Oh, very good. And the Eastern Front gets five. Which we're just not going to add. Yeah, because, again, the Eastern Front, this won't come into play at all in our scenario. The reason it's listed here in Scenario 2 is if you go from Scenario 2 and further. Yep. But we're not. So I'm getting 15 and 4, respectively. So a moment. And I'm going to drop two big blocks <sighs> into so, Koblenz. 15, I'm just putting the big block in there for now. Yep. Um, and then it was, what, four in England? God, that's a small number. And again, that, and that will go all the way up there All the way England. up here, right under. There, there we is. go. Okay. I, I, I'm glad that people are appreciating the, uh, the cartoon hand in the war game. Hey, it makes it clear though, doesn't it? So, hey, that's, that's all I'm shooting for. All right, so that's manpower deployment and attrition. Attrition comes into play later on in the yeah. game. Again, not in our scenario. If y'all are enjoying this and you want to see us play a later scenario, that's something we might could do. That's going to be entirely up to y'all if y'all want it's, to. It's right here, just these. Yeah. Huge part of World War I and a huge part of this stream. <laughs> He's, he's like Martin Martin's, Jr. Martin's over here. somewhere in the world right now, so I'm just, I'm just trying. I, well done. I appreciate <laughs> you. All right, next is collect economic points. We've already done that. We're a little ahead. Yep. I got four. You got seven. Seven. Technically eight, eight but minus, minus one. one right. Front. Okay. So now we go into naval warfare. And naval warfare is there. Okay. This I'm going to actually use the book because yeah. 
We see most of it. We have. But naval warfare. Okay. So um, there are two options for the central powers. The central powers could declare prize regulations or unrestricted submarine warfare. Prize regulations, basically historically, it gave notice to the merchant ships, hey, we're going to sink you, get out. Yeah. So. It was, it was a form of warfare, but less aggressive. Yeah, well, it was, again, that gentlemanly war, mm. if you will, mm. in that, uh, like, it, it, it wasn't trying to kill the merchant sailors. It was trying to keep the supplies from reaching yep. England and, and to resupply. Unfortunately, I think we'll be doing the other thing. Uh, unfortunately, he <laughs> says. Uh, unrestricted submarine warfare. All right. So here, um, normally what would happen is we would go through this very long, not long, but involved process, step-by-step -step process for naval warfare. However, in our scenario, if he chooses to do the uh, unrestricted, unrestricted submarine. submarine warfare, I believe we just add a blue cube into the bag. Let me... So this blue look. bag represents the naval warfare that's going on, similar to the red bag for the Eastern Front. Yeah. This represents the ongoing logistic war in the Atlantic. And it starts with four blue cubes, which are good for me. Yep. Two, blue, uh, two black cubes, good which are good me. for you. And two white cubes, which are just bag filler. They're neutral. Yeah, if we draw them, nothing happens. Right. And so we add a blue cube into it, and that's a permanent addition. Okay. Um, so now, you, he... We'll, let me talk through this and then we'll do it. Oh, yeah. Draw three cubes at random from the bag. Blue becomes blockade success or represents blockade success. A black is a U-boat success and a white is a non-event. Okay. So then if any blue cubes are drawn, the CP loses one economic point for every blue cube drawn. Yep. Okay. And uh, the naval blockade modifier, which I will show you all this that pushes up one step. And you see that those become plus numbers as it advances further along. So the more uh, um, unrestricted submarine warfare, the more blue cubes go in there, the worse it gets yep. for the central powers. Now, um, after the CP losses are taken, you increase the naval blockade by one, and if no blue cubes are drawn, draw better because that means nothing bad happened to you. However, uh, any blue cube, uh, sorry, uh, lost my spot. Um, if unrestricted submarine warfare was declared and any black cubes are drawn, he's going to increase the submarine warfare track by one for every black cube drawn. Then he's gonna draw a D6. We'll, we'll cross that yep. as we do it. So go ahead, draw your three, and draw... Um... Wanna put it back over here? I'll drop them down right okay, there. Okay, sure, yeah. All right, so we'll go one at a time. We like drama. Yeah, drama. Drama. Oh, stop that. That is a non-event, nothing that was. happens. And there are two of those in it. Well, there's oh, the for one. the love of all that's good and holy. I'll give it a good shake, I'm gonna give it a good shake. Take my hand out, good shake. <laughs> It's gonna, see, here's the thing, it's gonna be a blue cube. It's gonna be a blue cube. All right. Ah, there's that. All right, so we increase the blockade one step, Whoop. and you lose an EP. I lose one because the modifier here is still zero. Right. So, so he loses one, so he's now down to six. Yep. Those do not go back into the bag. Ah, all blue and black cubes are returned into the bag. The white cubes are now gone because drawn them all. That was unlikely. That was, uh, it's, it's only violence in the ocean now. There's no, yeah, there's, yeah, no right. friendly, there's no friendly moments on sea now. I feel like that was kind of thematic. Like, we're just easing into it, right? There was just a little bit of a blockade. That's, uh, it's very appropriate given that I said, bef right before we went on stream, that I'm just going to do unrestricted summary warfare every time. <laughs> so, well, here we go. I might not hold to that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So that is our naval warfare. All right, so the next step after naval warfare is spending economic points. Now, there are approximately a million things that we can spend our economic points on. I will briefly go over each of these. I'll list them, and I think they're pretty self-explanatory, I think. All right, so here we go. You can 
get a uh, tank or Econo or uh, stormtrooper storm if you have already reached the the like to where you've advanced it to where it can be. You get a free one when you advance there. So each of these tracks costs an economic point to advance. It's an option, but in so this scenario... We won't be seeing the tanks or the stormtroopers. Right. So. so I realize it feels like you're only seeing half the game, but I feel like the most important half of this, you're actually getting to see. The board. All right. So you can increase your artillery maintenance, your air maintenance, and your supply capacity. We haven't talked about supply yet, and I will in a little bit, but just know that's the amount of hexes that you have troops in that you are allowed to supply. Yep. And as long as this number is bigger than that number out there on the board, which currently, what's yours? I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So well I, under. I might be under. All right. I, on the other hand, have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I'm at seventeen. We're good to go. So not too too worried about that. Right I need now. some. I need some help. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Um, there there's an alternative history thing with the Belgian bribes. We're not playing with that. We're not even going to bother with that. Nope. Um, you can convert infantry into cavalry as on a one to one. It costs one economic point yep. in which to be able to do so. Uh, the central powers could, if we were playing the bigger scenario add uh, strength points, I'm sorry, add economic points to the Eastern Front draw bag. That's moot, not doing that. I've already lost my point. I've managed the Russians. Right. You could repair fortresses for any fortresses that have been damaged. Um, so I could, if I want, bring a fortress back here. I, oh no, once it's removed, it's removed. Yeah. If it's, it can never go higher than its starting point, yep. but if it were at a one, it could build up to a two, yep. theoretically, but it's gone, so I can't. That one hasn't been damaged, none of the others, so that one's moot as well, all right? Uh, what else can we do? There is logistics points. You were limited to doing this a total of three times, adding to your logistics number, you're capped at whatever the high number is, which I think is the same for you, it's five. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, all right. Um, naval blockade uh, can do so. I can up that if I want. You can up the um, U-boat offensive if you want. I'm capped at three of those. You're capped at two of those. Mm -hmm. And then there is actually adding air uh, reconnaissance and adding artillery. The important thing to note is you are capped at five artillery yeah, five, five plus, artillery. Plus your zero. Plus your zero. And then you were capped at six for air power, five plus your zero. Exactly. And this, the number on the airplanes can never extend past whatever your maintenance is. And same with your artillery, your total value can't do that. Yep. Now, this is done in secret. Mm -hmm. We kind of do it. Privately, quietly, until we're both happy, and then and then and then we will uh, then we will move on past that. Oh, there there's also initiative. Mm, the initiative right? bid. Initiative bid means you can hold back any of your cubes, your economic points to bid with, mm -hmm. and a tied bid remains. And currently. The CP has initiative. That will stay that way unless I outbid Kyle. Yep. And doing so, when I only have four, seems unlikely that that's going to be a priority for me here. But you would say that, wouldn't you? I, I would say that either way. Uh, initiative means who acts first. I mean, it's pretty yeah. straightforward on that in that regard. Um, that's pretty much it. So we'll just kind of quietly putter. Of yeah. This. yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. Hmm. All right. So what am I at here? So I'm my artillery's at seven. Maintenance is at ten. And you can up the value of your artillery um, or up the piece count, because again, you are allowed up to six, including the zero. The zeros always have to, the bluffs, if you will, always have to be uh, 
Incorporated. So I think I'm going to go one there, I'm going to go one there. So thinking out loud, sort of, as best I can in this type of game. Those for that there, then this for that, and then this for that, and then that for that, and then this for the bid here. All right, so now that that's done, we show the bid. Hey, that works. I made him waste one at least. So uh, that goes away. So these are spent. You are allowed to carry forward. Up to three. Up to three. And you know what? You want one back? Take some back? Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm going to... One thing. Hold on one second. Um... I'm going to change out one thing on second thought. It's going to go there, there, and instead go there. Okay, that final answer, there. All right. All right, so that is all, all our economic points. You could carry forward, like we said. Um, he may, I, I, I probably not. Um, no, I, I don't need to tell you, but no, I, having lost one for the Eastern Front and then lost one to a disastrous naval campaign, <laughs> I spent mine. Right, and, and, and I would argue wasted one on the bid, which is great. Well, I, um, need, I needed to be sure. Okay. This did so, not go to plan. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. right. <laughs> da, dare I say the shifting plan? Anyway, um, so uh, the bid is done, and now allocate supply. So, supply reflects the production, uh, da, da, da. Okay, how does supply work? We've already covered this number, that number. Supply is a line from this edge to the block. Very, very straightforward. Um, control of a block. Now, we haven't really talked about control markers. Control markers, whoever is the last to pass through it. So, in other words, if I go there, 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 and I have nobody left here, but I walk through it, I now control that block yep. until somebody else walks through it. There are such a thing as called contested. And to be clear, if we take a look up here in Belgium, that technically is mine right now. So it is when Kyle is the active player, it is a contested enemy hex. enemy hex. When I am the active player, it is a contested friendly hex because of the control marker and obviously the contested because we both have units in that hex. Which I mean, really the front line is now up here. Right, it re yeah, yeah, technically it, I, I mean, I guess there, that there, goes there, 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 and then. Those can come off. Yeah, so there is technically the front line all of this back here now the is... French, the French are in the war now. Belgians on side. So. Right, and, they, and the English are there as well. Yep. All right, so supply. Out of supply, a couple of bad things happen. Figure we ought to talk about that before we get into this now. Yep. So being out of supply means you can only move one hex and you can only move towards a supply source. Straight Meaning you go that way, I go that way. If you are out of supply, if you wish to move. Yep. Okay. We do have out of supply markers that may come into play as we go. Combat, both infantry and cavalry strength points roll half rounded down. 
their dice. Artillery cannot be allocated to a hex without a supply line mm -hmm. or with only out of supply strength points. Yep. Um, fortresses that are marked as out of supply, those can su partially supply within their hex. Yep. Um, the fortress supplies uh, provides supply to the number of blocks SP equal to its strength points doubled. So going, looking up here in Belgium, at the very top up there, if this were cut off, if this were completely surrounded by German hexes, German control. So th there and there. Let's say it's that. They no longer have supply going to the left side of the board. Yeah. However, that fortress has, is number two. It provides double the supply in strength points. There are two strength points there. We know that already. That's not a big surprise. So that would technically still be in supply. So locally supplying from the fortress. That is legit. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, also, allocating supply. Basically, allocating supply means, do you have supply? We've already established our number is good enough. We're, we're all in the black as it were, with that, I so we're to, good I had to, go. to spend a couple to get up there, but I have nine. I am at nine. Okay. All right. Really? Yeah. I started, I started quite low. I only started at eight. Really? I didn't realize that, I guess. Yeah. You really? You started... Oh, wow. So one, two, three, four... I started nine. at eight with seven hexes, I think, in control on the board, and then spreading out this way, and I yeah, pushed my line a little bit. All right. Fair enough. I get All right. a little advantage here, and they make me pay for it. Okay, so. good. All right, so now, now let's talk how the action phases work. Yeah. Action phases work exactly what we just showed over in that step, except you do yours because you are the initiative. You're the active player. Yep. Then I become the active player and do the exact same thing. And then after that, we then do it again. Me. Then, then me. And then we will go through the rest of the steps. So let me show you all this. So we've all gone through all of this. So we're going to do one through four. And then I will do one through four, which is step five there. And then refresh air squadron and artillery counters. And then we move into the action phase two. And then after we do that twice, then we do strategic reorganization and go into scoring. We don't have our planes and our artillery from that first push, do we? Not until oh, after the Oh, because we action. didn't do strategic reorganization. We, yeah, we did. Well, it's that green bar, advanced turn marker, and proceed to action phase two. Where is it? Refresher right above that. Because in my, my initial push, we only did actions one, two, three, and four. Right. We didn't do five and six. We have not hit the trigger to refresh yet, so we're actually both quite out of artillery. Oh, we screwed that up. Well, that's right. Technically, no. we didn't screw it up. We just we just don't have it right now. That's a fair point. <laughs> Which is bad for me. <laughs> There's that. Oh, we did mess that up, though. That's all right. It's fine. It Not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. All right, so we start now dogfighting and recon. So let's see. So theoretically... We used... I'm the only one who's used planes. I used three. And I still have... All of yours. But I all of my artillery... Uh, gone. So that so It's gone. Well, I bought some, maybe. Does that go... When you purchase it, does it go into... It goes into... Ready. You are ready. So Use I them. have that available. Okay. That's a fair point. And you're going to have more planes than me, but... I, I use the resources on the push. I'm actually not that upset about it. Right, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, would I prefer to have it back? Sure. Sure. But I'm not worried about it. Okay, no big deal. And there's no dog fighting And, and, and so. here, I'm going to take your planes back. And the reason, no, no, no. The reason for this, you knew what those were at the beginning of the game. Uh, so we did that just as an example. So your artillery, you got to, you ate. But the planes, planes you have. So we start off with. The Allies, so kind. Yeah, well, so I mean, kind. remember this. We, it's gentlemanly war right now. Aerial dogfighting. There is no dogfighting. So all this is? I can choose five blocks that I want to see. Up to five it. blocks right. that I want to see. 
Which... And I could have broken these down into things, but I'll be honest, I haven't. Again, you could use them, but you know what they are from the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, again, and I couldn't move it. We yeah, so. Edward has not had the chance to move his reconnaissance. Will be far more important than mine. Yes, agreed. Uh, but yeah, I, I think just to keep it moving, I'm not going to bother. That then that also balance. I didn't get him. It's fine. That's fine. Um, and we don't get the dog fight. So right. Because again, I know from setup what all of this is. I know where his forces are. So predominantly, it's it's these right here. These three, yeah. and then obviously now. All right, so um, we're not going to bother then again because it's initial setup and that's public information. So now block movement, go for it. Yes, so now I can move into France. All gloves are off, war's on. Uh, fight's on! Fight's on. Unsurprisingly, we're going to trundle into Antwerp. So my, just to say it now before I go quiet and think about my numbers, my objectives besides holding Paris and pushing through Belgium and some of these hexes that show my victory points, I also just need to get into France. By the end of turn two, I need to be in France, and at the end of the game, I'm gonna be denying you points the more I own in France. Correct. I need to make, I need to put some pressure on. I'll, I'll talk about my victory point stuff when it's my yeah. activation, so yeah. Uh, I need to put pressure on, I need to keep pressure up. I know the push from our pre-play and from the deployment. The push is coming here, likely. There's a lot of the plan 17, Edwards points I'll talk about down there, but haven't reorganized yet. So, move these up here. They're stuck. They're in a they're in a fight and I want to leave them there anyway. So You could move to be clear. So, yeah, actually we mentioned sticky blocks. They're in a contested hex. He can move. He is allowed to move if he wishes to. However, one block Has must remain. Yep. Okay? That's the key there. And he can move um, only only, he cannot move into enemy hexes from a sticky block situation. So, in other words, exactly. Yeah. Okay? So, but probably doesn't want to, but I digress. So, looking down here, these two hexes together are uh, Verdun, which Verdun is a special level 5 fort that covers both of these hexes with its artillery fire. Yep. <sighs> And for anyone that's familiar with history, there were something, some untold millions of artillery shells yeah. in the Battle of Verdun, which I still can't fathom. Do I want to kick it off? That is a really big number. Do I want to kick it off? Wow, that's early. Come on, get your feet wet. I'm thinking about it. No, in fact, what I'll do is I will go one. I will go one, two. I will not move that block. I will go one, two. I'm going to split this block down into one that is this strength and one that is this strength that will stick around. So this block, part of it split off, headed down south. Uh, I have all my big reinforcements. Where am I gonna send them? I wonder. Due west, young man. <laughs> yeah. the, the due west? No, no, due east. The Russians, the Russians. <laughs> no, I will send this block one, two, this way. I'll send that block one, two, that way. Uh, final, these three blocks down here. The real question is how much do I want to stick? I know big force is here. That's a big force. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to... So, it, because I haven't been allowed to move. This is a 14-2. Yep. This is a 14-2. Yep. And the two being the cavalry, okay? So yeah, I and again I knew that, so no free yeah. information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna do a slight shifting of force. Do that. I'm gonna move some value to here, and I'm gonna make this into one block. Okay. That's it. I don't I don't push too much down here. I'm expecting the wave to crash. <laughs> While up here, the Schlieffen plan, I'm trying to hinge down. I'm sure. Putting pressure in the north. So. All right, so there are currently, correct me if I'm wrong, three contested hexes. One, two, and then from Belgium, and then new one here. Okay, so now uh, it starts into combat, and combat says, 
uh, artillery fire, which oh, yes. we've already established. Um, and I so artillery fire again because of I probably I might have played it slightly different, but I'm not that worried about it. I don't know how much different because you really I want really needed to, to push. yeah. So I don't know that that's a huge deal. So I I. I guess, I guess Edward might know, but all I have left is my zero. Right. Just going to pass. <laughs> so I, on the other hand, I do. Now, here's the interesting thing. If I use whatever this is and whatever this is, I don't get them for my turn. Yep, because that is step five, and then step six is when we refresh. So you want to save it for your push, your counter push? or do you? Want yeah, to that's the interesting thing, right? Don't have those. Okay. Um, think we're going to do that. No fortress there. Yeah. You know what? Flip up a zero. And show I'm me. done. Show me the zero. That'd be great. No, two. All right. So artillery fires. Um, that is hitting on fives and sixes because there's no uh, fortress to protect you yep. from. So. Nope. That was wasted. Okay. So that goes away. Uh, is it French guns? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Spike says, I think by the time in the war, both sides were creating 30,000 sh artillery shells a month, but spending 40,000 shells a day. Yeah. Like, I, those are make-believe numbers. Like, I, oof. Anyway, all right, so now, uh, that's artillery, or lack thereof. The active player option to end combat. Uh, no. You sure? <sighs> no. Okay, all you do is you mentioned one hex where combat is taking place. We'll start here. Okay, and by start you mean that's yes. where it'll be. Uh, all right, so declare infantry. I could, hold on, before you reveal. True, you could retreat. I could retreat or reinforce. Or reinforce. I can't reinforce, so I could retreat. Um, I don't think retreating actually does me any good here, and my thinking is at least if he dies a hero, the breakout, you only get one movement for. Yep. So you can't, we're, oh, actually, if you return, no, I'm going to save the logistics point. So now we reveal. I ultimately am sending in 19. I feel like this is the 100, or the 300. The 300. Yeah, so. All right, go ahead. That You're is, 19. That still historically did not go well. For it did that. not. Uh, that is 14. That's probably enough to get it done. Rolling on the fives and sixes table, which is better. Yes. 19. Uh, that's nine hits. Okay. Well, he, uh, it's not much left of him, and but he at least tried. All right. He, he's gone. So out of the game because Belgians. I'll flip that to be controlled by me. Okay. And take that one off because it doesn't matter because, yeah. And I'll break up move. By the way, um, can y'all see this well? Like, is this, are y'all following along? We good to go here? Okay. All right, have a good one, Chris. All right, so uh, is there any other regular combat? Yes. Okay. We will go up here next. Okay, so you again, I could bug out if I want. You get artillery I do. from your fortress. Good call, I do. So even though we place no artillery tokens here, because it is a level two fortress, the fortress gets the chance to shoot. Oh, two hits. Oh, geez. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, gosh. Hey, the forts actually were legit. Like, they didn't no, roll over. No, they didn't. Belgians putting up a fight. I needed to move here through here faster. Uh, so, now, um, I could bug out if I want. I elect not to. And I didn't end combat. And now we reveal. 
push them to my way a little bit. There you go. What is that? I have a total of 11. Okay. 10, 10 infantry and one horse. Is that your artillery just shot horses? I... How do you feel about yourself? <laughs> just fine. Just fine. Just fine. Just fine. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, so you're rolling 11. So that is not even on the. Yep. Uh, so here, if you want to roll the French dice. So the game supplies you with 12 dice, and the chart starts at 13. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I dig that. I'm, a, I I'm, an old, I'm an old Warhammer player. I love rolling fistfuls of d Um So you are hitting only on sixes because there's a fortress. Yes, and I have no railgun, no artillery. Show me the money. Uh, that would be bankrupt. That is not the money. Wow! That hurts, man. Wow! I'm going to be stuck up there for so long. <laughs> Way to go, boys! There, there's a board for that, and 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 one for you. Wow! Boy, to roam to the Belgian. Fierce, fierce uh, resistance. I forgot uh, to reset that. I apologize, that's, everybody. But... Don't worry. Well, we'll match that number. We might as well leave it up there. <laughs> I, I'd love to give it to just myself, but oh my god. No, that was. Wow. That hurt. Yeah, I reckon it did. I feel like this might also hurt. Okay. Let's fight. Uh, I could bug out. Now, and I've been... Re or reinforce. Or reinforce. And I've decided I'm not going to bug out. I want... Um, so, here's my thinking. So, here, let me, let me pull it back a little so you all can see. This is where the battle is. That is Paris. There's a whole lot of empty space in between here. So I would love to be able to bug out to Verdun to get the protection of the fortress. I could also come over here. You know what? Make me fight you at a fortress instead? I think that actually might make sense. Hmm. Because if I do, if I do retreat, he does get a breakout. Mm -hmm. Which I could chase you. You could, but at least or, it's into a fortress. Or I could head to Verdun. Which, actually, I'm not too worried about. So you know what? I am going to spend the logistics point. And we are going to retreat. Must go to a friendly hex. Yep. Um, it could go to a friendly contested hex. Because it is still... Because it is friendly. friendly. Um, however, we're not. We're just going to go... You know what? They Do they have to retreat to the same hex? Uh, no. I think because it's... I actually, I don't know. We didn't do a lot of retreating. We did, we did not. So. so let me double check. Uh, 7, 3, 3, and 10, 1. Hold on. Alyssa, it's going spectacularly for someone, and that someone is the Belgians. Yes, that 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 is a true statement. Uh, ten one, sorry. Uh, reinforce, retreat before combat. Yeah, Spike saying the Belgian forts were monsters unless the Germans brought their artillery. I I tried to. <laughs> uh. And, and and to be clear, the retreating happens before you see the blocks and all that, right? I, I um, technically know what's in there from some Must move to the same hex. So there we go. Your whole so, force retreats. Right. So we will go ahead and retreat to there. You do get a breakout marker. I do. Uh, you have them. Uh, got it. You get that there. There we go. Hey, Alyssa. Oh, that is interesting. Well, that is the resolution of combat. Yes. So and now, now we move into breakout break combat, uh, breakout movement and combat. Now, you were not required to? Yeah, I know. And I'm actually probably not going to. <laughs> um, oh, and technically that flips. Yes, you read. You I'm. You're in France. <laughs> Allons-y. Uh, put that one there. Um, yeah, I, I think it would be folly to chase you. That seems like a big old extension of life. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I tactical retreat. I'm going to 
breakout move I can split. Unlike your retreat, where you all have to move as a unit, I can split these up. Yep, but they and they can go anywhere. It's like yeah. regular movement. Yeah. I'm going to send this one here and this one here, flipping that control, and I th no, can't quite take that one. I can take this one off, though, and that one. Yeah, because the, the front line is... Actually, no. Sorry, you're still here. I, yeah, I, 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 I You have yet. not. I mean, it's, it's kind of moot. So that's my breakout right. move. So... No more combat is initiated? Uh, I have my second breakout move. Oh, you here. do. Good call. Uh, I think I'm going to... <sighs> I'm going to have to send somebody north to go help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to break this up to send a nominal force this way to help them, and then the other ones I'm going to split down this way and just going to clear my lines moving forward. Um... <laughs> oh, Edward. <laughs> it's not so much me, it's more the Belgian. Just. Yeah, in, in theory, these blocks would be hidden, but I'll hide the ones that when I move them and yeah, yeah. breaking them up. <sighs> I might, well, actually, I might as well do this. Yeah, one. yeah. Go ahead and stand them all up at this point, yeah. if you would, please. I'll stand up. Be stand up, be proud. This is not gone. Not gone the way the central powers wanted it to. Okay, um, not to belabor it too much. Oh no, get belabor all you want. I'm it's... I'm gonna split this up a little bit. So I'm going okay. to this block. I'm going to divide. And you can divide cavalry, provided you in anything, provided you have the blocks in your force pool to do so. Uh, that block is going to divide as such. That block will return to my supply. This block, I think I will divide again as well. And I will put, actually, now we're getting down to me, me trying to be clever with my blocks. I'm gonna put one there, and then I'm going to send the rest this way, and I will combine that up into a single block. So, I did a lot of splitting of blocks. I had a total number to send out. Yep. Same total number, just. That is out totally out. legit, yep. Now, uh, we haven't really talked about deception blocks yet. Uh, deception blocks, they're, they're bluffs. Um, mm -hmm. If they are ever revealed, they immediately come off the board. Um, whereas... And they can't move. And they cannot move. They can only be added during movement and strategic reinforcement, and they can be moved during strategic reinforcement. But otherwise, I could have, you know, if I left a block here... It could have been... Could a, have been a, unlikely, yeah, though. Yeah. Uh, those are my breakout moves. That's what I got. Okay. It is yours truly. It's turn now. Yep. So that will flip. Yep. So this marker, one side shows initiative for me, and the other side simply shows its turn, and then yep. there's another marker that is the opposite. All right. So I have all my planes still. You still have all your planes. I would argue because that makes sense. Yeah, that but, totally makes sense. But there's no dog fighting yet, so you're just getting to look at some stuff. Yeah. Um, so I have five ones. He may or may not know that. It could change. You did have one turn up. I, I, I did. I did. So um, the, I'm kind of... Angry at myself that I didn't check. I can't remember if you messed with any of these down here. I don't think you did. Who could say? Really, who could say? So, again, because there's no dog fighting, it makes no sense for you to. No. Because so they can't fight. You can just pick five blocks you yeah. want to see. So it's going to be one. Two, three, eh, hold on. There. There. You want to see what's going on up here? I you're, couldn't you're, you're care interested. less. Um, and actually that, because I'm an idiot and can't remember. All right. Okay. So there's only one block here, so yep. I'm just going to lay it down. Yep, that's an eight. More than one, you pick. Right. I clearly cannot choose the wine that is in front of me. No, we will yeah. choose that one. Yeah. All right, there's 10. Okay. 
There's only one in here. Yep. Put that down. Yeah, that's a big number. That's a fitting. One there. That's and an eight. One down there. And that's the six. Okay. And now all of my air is used. You'll see once we start in turn two why that won't necessarily always be the case. And that yeah. just goes into the used air. And note that there is a damaged air spot, but that won't come into play until obviously dogfighting comes dog into play. Kicks off. Okay, so there's that. Now block movement happens. Right. Let's see. Don't worry about me. I'm just. <laughs> I, I, the front line is moving. Helps me visually. No, all, all good. All good. Um, Counting, tallying my failures. Now, the British up there in the top left-hand corner, way up there, way when up. those move, they come in either in Calais or Dunkirk. Um, huh. They will go ahead and come into Calais, yep. and just for stretching reasons there. Yep. Um, I could break that block down if I so wish. Ooh. You know what? Actually, I'm going to do that, so, so hold on. The British are going to go help the Belgians. No, I would be very surprised. So that is going to go there, and then... I because I don't want him to see what I rotate it to. Because again, I would know what that was. It was placer and right. reinforcements. So. He knows that was a four. So that's how I broke it down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So that is done. So I'm I now now becomes the interesting part. Okay, and I need to try and keep my noggin out of the shot as best I can. So. I am going to go there. And these will go there, which replaces that block. You know what? Mm. You know what? Let's do this. Chip, it has been true my whole gaming career. I cannot roll worth anything. <laughs> I'm actually... Nope, that's the wrong wrong one. Sorry. That will be that. Don't and matter what the that. game is. Could be this. Could be anything. Could be very notorious for it in D&D. &D. Just absolutely cannot roll the 20-sided dice. Have no conception of how to do it well. Okay, so that took care of the Paris blocks there. At least those. And now, these guys will go across the Marne. <laughs> oh, the ponies. Yeah, that works. So that takes care of all of that. Now, I think the British are going to probably... Leave the fortress? Probably not. Or if they do, they're going a different way. Like, should they fall back? <sighs> yeah, that concedes that whole... No. I would still have to fight the fortress. Yeah, you leave, but... You leave a nominal defense force to shoot the guns, but I would have to deal with two hits on sixes over the course yeah. of however long. So it slows me down, but having blocks there is... Yeah, I think... The only thing I'm wondering, though, is you know what? I think that's actually kind of smart. I think what I'm going to do is I'm 
well, y'all can't see it, but that is going to go one, two, three, and that flips that. Mm. Obviously, the fact that that was a three means that that was cavalry. He knows that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll, 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 I'll let you. It, it, it helps me. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. No worries. Um, so now looking at this, basically all of that is good. I'm happy with that. I'm basically just trying to figure out where I want to have the line of everything. I think that stays okay. I really hate the idea that these guys are out in the open. That is a really big number, and I don't feel like taking on the fortresses. Have a good one, Chip. Take care. I think they will fall back mm. to their fortified positions. Yeah. And now the offensive part happens. Yeah, where are you, so, you going to push? All right. So now that there's this, you all see all of these that have the French flag and say plan 17. I'll be honest. I don't know. I'm going to just assume that Plan 17 represents a massive push up through the southeast over here and up around the back door, so to speak, and be able to flank and come in this way. So any of these that have Plan 17 on them, I will score a point every round that I control those. Yep. I will never lose those. Even if, if they get taken back over, then I still don't lose them. So be it. Um, then I will score a point every, or two points every round that I control any of these markers that are in various places. They're basically the anywhere place. there's fortresses. Yeah. So there, there, and there. And two points per round. And again, those are completely permanent. Yeah. I can stop you from scoring them, but you never lose them. Right. So... Nah, just don't bother, you know? South of France, you want to go that way. I think what we're going to do is we will go one, two, for sure. Yeah, flip that. And then we will go one, two. Mm -hmm. So all that's really left for you moving is these two? Pretty much, yeah, because those drop back to there. So, yeah, they could have come over if I wanted them to. I didn't. The fact that that's an eight. I am going to break down one of those blocks here. And I think I will do that, which removes that, and that will go one, two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to further break that one down and make that, yeah. So I'm going to turn this one into those and then move that one there 
and take that one off. Okay, so I'm gonna move that back. I like that. I'm tempted to do something really dumb, but I'm not gonna. But I'm tempted to it's, over here. I chose to leave it open. I, I wanted you to I know. tempt fate. Nope, that's it. That's that's it. it that, that feels very defensive, which I, maybe isn't the right thing to do. I, you're playing the French at the start of World War One. I. I think you're defensive. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, yeah, so try, uh, there's really only, only one place for combat now. Uh, um, well, there, you know, there could be another one. Oh, there could. <laughs> Hold on. Way up yonder. Uh, I think they're going to just... Uh, you do get to shoot artillery. You'll take your two shots out. I do. There is that. But, uh, all right. So, we will now, that is block movement, combat. We will initiate combat up there. Artillery fire. So, fives and sixes. He gets two for free because it's a level two fortress. Here comes a five and a six. It's been three for three. Wait a minute. 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 No. Uh, artillery, you, well, we know you don't have any. So, technically... Yeah, we we would alternate placement. Right. I don't have any, you don't have any, but you do get, there's a flow. I do, right, yeah, 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 okay, all right. Nope, nothing. And I, I elect not to initiate infantry combat up there. Sure. So now, here. Yeah. So, we don't have artillery because we already shot it, so here we go. Well, I, I still technically have my zero, everyone. A yes. A clever, a cunning plan. A cunning plan. So... There's a four. Four, and there it is. So 18 to six, okay? So uh, go ahead, get your six. So six, still fives and sixes, fives and no sixes. fortress. There that it is. That was good, that's four. Four. Okay. I deserved that, thank you, Dice. Uh, so I am fives and sixes on 18, is it? Yep, I got your chart. All right, right. so let me see, what, what, what do you have? You have a six there? So I have 18. You you need to roll an 11 plus. An 11. 10 plus to wipe me out. Yeah, 10. So okay, an average die that. roll will get me. Okay. So. Got him. Right on the money. A 10 for 18. So I lose four. Nine. I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. And it, I that's fine. That. All right. But now. That'll flip. And more importantly. Breakout move. That. Which. There's no other combat, so that is the breakout move. Okay. So, yay. Well done. All right. So combat's over. That goes. Yep. And now... I will stand up my others as well. Now, one thing to note on these fortresses right here. These fortresses, you declare how... Like, if I have troops in both of those, you declare how to divvy that up. Mm -hmm. The... Do I not get the full four in both? I do not believe you do. I believe you get to decide how to divvy that up. I want to say it is, it's around, it's seven two, seven one, seven two, somewhere yep. around there. Fortress X is. All right, seven three one. Yeah, seven three one. Yeah. Let's see. Redundant, who, what's this for me? Strasburg. Yeah, we, we, I don't divvy it up. We resolve one at a time. Oh. Any, any damage the fortress takes for the one hex, I then roll that over the next one. So if I start fair. at four and you get one on it, this one will be at three. Okay, fair enough. Um. Go on, run into the guns of Strasbourg. Run into them. No, but what I will do... is I'm gonna cut your supply off for sure. Well, you're gonna try. <laughs> well, they, 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 as soon as I get this, they're out of supply. Yeah, but we don't check that for a little bit. <laughs> well, no, it, it, it immediately, isn't it immediate that they, the effects of, of uh, supply are immediate, I believe. No, I believe that's only checked during allocation. Uh, you you could be right. Okay. 
Okay. Um, allocating supply, but... Where? Let me find it. Give me a second. Because that's the whole point of getting back through there. But I want to... Come on, where is it? There, right here. Um, supply is allocated only during a production phase. However, play may cause blocks to lose their supply line. In this event, blocks that were allocated supply but can no longer trace a supply line suffer the out of supply penalties for movement only, but not for combat, Fine. but for movement. I'm just saying. Can I still trace up and around? Uh, it, it isn't it a straight line? But you you might could be you're probably right. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I, I would need to get there and oh no, because then you would be able to trace keep, it that keep way, right? Keep thinking about what you want to do that break. I move. I'll look up for that. Because like in, in the examples and in, yeah, in, in, everything we've looked at, it shows a straight line going back. But it could be just. I I think you just need to hit this edge of the board. I think. Because it's if, smarter than. Then I would okay. Then then. I think. Right. We'll check though. Continuous path of friendly controlled. Okay. So, so I need to completely surround it then yeah, yeah. for that to matter. Which is frankly hard to do. It's easier to do when we start having swaths of contested hexes, yes. but it's, it's not. It's not simple. I don't think. Well, who knows? Without artillery, that is scary. Oh, you're about to get your artillery. And that is, hold on, on. You could also move in there, and it would be contested because I have the fort, but. You, you know what? Simply not declare combat. We're just going there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. The reason I don't want to go to those two is that's only two away. So. And it's some portion of 30. <laughs> yes. Uh, done. All right. We are going to fight over there. Good. I will take my. You get your four pot shots. Fives and sixes, nothing. Oh, thank God. All right, so at 14, on to be able to hit four, I need a nine. On sixes, I have a fortress. You are correct. So. Ouch. Okay, so on 14, need, oh, I need a 14. You need a 14 total, which, for you, this game seems reasonable. <laughs> 13. 13! Yeah, so he gets three of them. So this goes from four to three to two. To one. To one. Gah! All right. Um, but now, combat. Or that was, that, that was sorry, combat. that was combat. Um, so unfortunately, no more further. And you don't continue breakouts, I believe. No. You just get a one, right. And yeah. And I guess down the bottom, which I'll just do. But. Yeah, that's fair. All right, all right. So that's it for combat. And breakout combat. Yep. Other side. Okay, so now that is step five. Now we refresh the air squadron and artillery. Shoot. So everything else, everything moves over to the right. We will move to the next action, which this will flip back. It is my turn, action phase two. Yep. So now for... All intents and purposes. We've gone through all that. We've gone through all of this. And now we are on action phase two. Going through all of this again. Starting with central yep. powers. Yep. Okay. <sighs> all right. Still no dog fighting, so we're still really in free reconnaissance land. Yep. So I will grab all five of mine and we'll have a look-see. So I know that that is the British cavalry because it sk <laughs> sk skedaddled a few. It did. It did. Um, there's some movement over here. Move those back. Things got broken up down here as well. I know that's a 14. I believe that's a 2 cavalry. Um, again, I know that from setup. 
maybe I don't know correctly, but sure, that's what I think. Um, I think I want to see. I'm gonna put again, just going face up, no dog fighting yet. Which right. We'll show dog fighting. Which one is that? Bit. Is that the fortress, the fortress one? The okay. Fortress All right. Um, and then I will see the other four. I'm just going to put here. Those four? Yeah. So okay. I want to see all four of those. Okay. And then this one. That's <laughs> Choose wisely. Which one? Which one? That one. Okay. Yeah, it's the cavalry from that came running up. Yep. Okay. So that's all five of my planes. Again, reconnaissance in the first turn and a half. It's kind of anti. Yeah, it just. Yeah. It, but I think that I think that leans into the war being so open. No, the trend universal trench warfare hasn't happened yet. Everybody that's can kind of see yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. It seems a little odd, but it's fine. I mean, yeah. I can't. Oh wait, this. wait, wait till folks see the strategic uh, reorganization. Oh, it changes everything. It is the fact that we get to play through five turns, three for me, two for you of action before that happens. It's open right now. It's about to get very, yeah, very convoluted. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So block movement for me. Your boy is going to come up here. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> he has done his job. Talk about dying a hero. He ain't dead yet. He ain't dead that, for yet. that fortress is still a two. Her done is there, but it's just so hefty. And it got reinforced. And it got reinforced here, down there. I know what's down there. You do? I do. Okay. Uh, there is one thing I need to look up because it's take, going to come into play. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> is that the reinforcement rules? <laughs> up to five strength points from each adjacent hex for the cost of an economic or a logistic point? Really? Is it? Yeah, it's per. That's what I'm looking. Is it per hex you reinforce? Yeah, that, per, let's see. From each adjacent hex. So no. Spend one for the one hex. point. Oh, that's even better than I thought. That's nasty. So in other words, if you were to attack this hex. Could bring in five from five here. Five for one logistics point, provided I have five of each. But uh, That's nasty. Yeah. Well, that, so I'll be honest, I didn't do really any strategizing per se or anything ahead of this. What I did read was Kurt himself mentioned that making sure that you, that, 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 that hexes, you know, reinforce can reinforce yeah. one another. Um, that, that's kind of my, my thinking on this was to be on the back foot to make sure that they can support one another. But I think that's just good generalship yeah, as well. Agree. At least someone is showing good generalship. Well, you know. Uh, all right. This, is, this will ultimately handle itself. That's tiny piddly British force that I'm not concerned about right now. Horse move down there, so this is three or four. Somewhere in there for the Brits. Okay, let's go one. Move there. This will move one, two. Got to keep pushing. That's that's the thing. I have to continue to push. I have to. Again, I also read some thoughts about how the CP is supposed to play and. You have speed is speed is power. Obviously, trench warfare we're not going to hit, but speed is power right now. Yep. Uh, my economic points also ramp up, so I have a good backup coming. I know I get a lot of reinforcements in Koblenz, so let's just let's hammer forward. He'll go there. He'll go there. And those Ooh. immediately become yours. Yes. Although I'm thinking, do I want to just dive in? Let's have fun. Push that in there, and I will push that in there. This fella, I'll move to just there. This guy will go one, two. That's all of this yep. set. Now I'm looking at these six. Not too much else to do with this, but go one, two which much better for me. Um, 
I will send, sorry, these are both in here. Uh, I will send this one. I did not anticipate this. Okay. Two. Okay. So that will yeah, flip that to flips. Me. Yep. And then this I will split mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. into this strength, which will. Uh, let's do it this way. That strength, which will stay there, and this strength, which will hurry over here to reinforce Strasbourg. And by hurry, you mean Harry. Yeah, yeah, yes. right, yeah harass me. Because uh, it's too small to do any damage. And then this one, I don't think I move, but I'm not going to. So you're done on movement? I am done. Okay, flip those two. Yep, these will come to me. This, these all, everything else. I think everything else is good to go. Yeah. The okay, one. so. It will change in a moment, but I'll put that back. Okay. All right, so you have finished movement. Sure have. Uh, so now, artillery. Now, unlike dogfighting or uh, aerial reconnaissance, when we get into dogfighting, uh, the passive player can only place where the active player placed. Here, anywhere there are contested hexes, you may bomb the hell out of it. Yep. So... And if I pass, I can come back in. It's when we consecutively pass, artillery placement ends. I believe so. Yes. Yeah. So, so I think the game is soft passes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will start with that. I wonder what it could be. I pass. Mm-hmm. Let me hold on. Now, now I'm now I'm paranoid. I want to make sure that I get that right. Is it if it's a hard pass? Yeah, then I won't pass. I right. think. I think you might be right, but I think so. if if either of them between aerial reconnaissance and this is a hard pass, I think this is a hard pass. Let me. Here we go. Does not end the step for a player unless both players pass back to back. Okay, so okay. you're just out for right now. Yeah, basically, you're good with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, sure? I'm totally fine with that. All right. Um, I assume that's here. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. The contested hex. And I do not have to place there. I could place there. I could, you know, etc. Yep. Um, I pass. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I'm done. So you pass as well? Yes. All right. So it doesn't matter the order of this. This just flips up. You can have your black blank back. So I use my zero down there, so I'm simply just going to take it back. And surprising no one. Wow, really? Big Bertha up there, huh? Okay. I will spend a logistics point to turn her into a can opener. <laughs> so... Big Bertha round of artillery. I've turned her into a railgun, so fives and sixes uh, at the fort. One. So I'll tick the fortress down to one. That's okay. And Big Bertha's used. Yes. Okay. Here? Uh, sure. 
Okay, so you're hitting uh, on sixes. Right. Unfortunately. And you're only hitting three. Nope. Nope. I on the other, uh, here, well, yeah, you, and you're done. That's it. That's it for me. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit here first. Yep. So, oh, I, you're not done. You have your fortress. Oh. Strasburg. Yes. Ouch. All right, so that's X down. Pink punk. Okay. Now I'm hitting two on just sixes. Yep. Yahtzee. So that's the fortress. Oh, that was so good. I needed it to live. Oh, that is so good. Okay, that was a well-spent artillery right there. And then here, um, yours is done. I've, I have rolled. I am hitting seven. Yes. Rolling seven. I'll, I'll roll blue dice because I don't want to touch sure? them. No, oh, God, no. Okay. So seven, hitting on fives and sixes. Two. Two. And, okay. nope, doesn't count. Three. Three. That'll work. I'll go one, two, three. All right. Artillery barrage is finished. Both sides. Now the active player can choose to end combat. So in each contested hex, chooses to end the combat sequence or initiate. Oh. So I guess you do declare that we're going to have combat here, 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 and here, and then you choose the order. Because it does say in each contested hex. Hex is resolved in any order active player choice. Yeah. In each contested hex. I'm, yeah, I'm just, I guess the question is just, one, is, is two. two a modification of one? Sorry, the, is the, the rule saying hex is resolved in any order active player chooses, is that a modification of me choosing, or is that simply saying, "Hey, you can do them in any order, but you go one at a time"? That's a good question. Let's let's because we've gone back and forth. We played it the one way, right? We're playing it the other way. After artillery fire is resolved for all hexes, so done. The active player may choose to continue or end the combat sequence in each hex individually. Okay. For each hex in which a player elects to continue combat, complete seven three three. It still doesn't really. This option reflects the choices made by commanders to wage war of attrition, shelling the enemy without leaving your trench. I, I'm pretty sure it's one. To me, the, the ruling of in each. I'm I okay. Think one I'm at a okay. Time. Okay, one at a time. So um, you choose. Oh, oh, you do want to. I I would like to. I moment? would like to push okay. the assault. Okay. All right. Um, bring him my way just a hair. Yep. So that appears to be. I have 13 total in infantry and one horse. So 14 to 2. 14 to 2. And you have a fortress, which means I'm only rolling on sixes. So 14, you have to hit a 9. <sighs> Shouldn't be hard. Averages say. I want you to be able to do it, honestly. Oh, God. That's a 7. <sighs> um, for those scoring at home... A seven on 14 on sixes only. Uh, seven, th that's one. That's a one. <sighs> I'm being punished for something. I'm sure I'll find out what it is someday. <laughs> Regardless, I remove the fort. Which yes. Is the most important part. <laughs> okay, now I get, I get two pot shots. Here comes a five and a six. Five and a six. Or just the five. I... Uh, I almost feel bad for you. Uh, no. Almost. No, this is history repeating itself. It's fine. Um, okay, so other options. There, 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 and there. Yes. We'll go here next. Okay. Uh, let's see. That will be... I had this. Where was this? It was, no, that still might work. Yeah, that works. Okay. So what do we have here? We have 10 to 5? Uh, 15 to 5. Oh, that's a 7. seven You're right. Yep, I yep. see that. Okay. Um, I'm rolling on sixes. Artillery has... Already gone. Already fired and done. Okay. So you're hitting on sixes. So... 15 on sixes. I don't think I can get all seven at once. I can if I roll a perfect 18. Yeah. It could, it could happen. It could happen. Or not. Or I could just roll nine. a nine. So that is what? 15? Two. 
Nine, that, that's two. So one on the fortress. One on the fortress. And then, then you, one, need to, you need to replace need that with a four. With a four, but I get to hit it first. Yep. Oh, no, wrong one. Hold on. Let me grab a four here. All right, so I'm actually swinging with five. Yep. So. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. And five of them on fives and sixes. Just one. Just one. That's wow. fine. And those stand back up. Yep. That combat is complete. I'll put these back up as well. Dude, don't sleep on them Belgians. It's just, it's just infuriating. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you, it's funny you mentioned that, Alyssa. Somebody just brought that up in the comments again, having watched that for the first time. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Um, so, three options left. Yep. Uh, we will start with the southernmost, closest to Here? you. Yep. Would you like to reinforce or retreat? Uh, let's see. And retreat on... Um, let me double check. You would have to go to a friendly or friendly contested hex to right. you. So you could not retreat to Strasbourg, I don't believe, because that is unfriendly. Correct, contested. I cannot. Uh, I can break down blocks, they have to move to the same hex um, in adjacent hex, yep. that being the key. So any of those three down there, you could. That is such a tough call because you get a breakout. Mm -hmm. I have so many things I'm thinking about right now that I can't really talk about. Let's fight. All right. Three of horses. Two of horses. Let's go. <laughs> so hitting on fives and sixes. Yep. Like, is this like jousting? Like, yeah, I was about to say this is. <laughs> well, World War One was very interesting. This so American Civil War and some of the other European wars were that that the development from line battle infantry. You know, right. there's still horses charging to. Gatling, Gatling, Gatling got Gatling his guns. gun. Right. Yeah. Uh, our long range artillery yeah. that was actually effective. Uh, right. The last charge here. One. I lose one. You lose one. No breakout, though. No breakout. And combat is done. Yep. All right. I needed that to survive. Yeah. If, I'm fine with it surviving. I would obviously would have preferred to pull troops. At yeah, this yeah, point, yeah, you know? right. But, and that was my thinking. Yeah. Um, two left. Verdun and Strasbourg. Strasbourg? I will not initiate. I reckon you wouldn't. Yeah. Verdun? I will not initiate combat. Oh, okay. All right, so we're you're done. I'm done. Okay. So my turn now for recon. Mm -hmm. So pick pick five things you want to see. Yeah. When, um, I think I think we can put the tokens out when we get to dogfighting because we'll have to play the agreed, matching ag game. Agreed. 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 For now, we're still uncontested in the air, so he's just going to pick five blocks to turn face down. So that's going to be one, which I I thought might have been a deception. I thought it might have. Um, so there's one. If I was only that good. Okay, that's a big number. That's three. Two left. Yep. Oh, and that stands back up now. And these stand back up. Yes, sorry. 
Lucian a, a precursor of the Battle of the Bulge. The Battle of the Belgium. Yes. Just... <laughs> you know, we... Four. We just got to get more D6s. Next time I do this, I'm rolling the fistful. <laughs> I, I mean, I... <laughs> just saying. And... Okay. So there's the five. Mm -hmm. So to show folks what I see. So that's it in the southeast. So this, that's a three, a three, that's an eight. And then this is the big number. That's total 22 infantry, nine and a 13. Okay. All right. So there's our recon. Now movement. So after this is done, we're going to do strategic reorganization. Which? So I don't need to, I can leave my... Things kind of messy. Yeah, yeah. I, like I can leave gaps right now. Yeah, which strategic reorganization, we can shift strength points around, keeping a... We keep the same value, but provided they're all in supply and connected, we can just move points around the board. However we want. So kind of the starting position, which, you know, I knew where some Edwards were, he knew where some of mine were, completely obfuscated at the end of turn one. And can we add blocks where there aren't blocks? We can, right? You just, existing blocks must keep, correct? I'll take, I'll take that. that that's going to dictate movement on yep. this point. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I know I can do this. Yeah, yeah, you, you can. Yeah. Okay. So what, provided it's controlled by you and in supply, I could, for example, reorganize into that. Space. Yeah, okay, got Which, it. Who knows, maybe I'll end up doing that. So. Yeah, could, could happen, I guess. Oh. Um, so that will go... Oh, this has gone so poorly. <laughs> it really has gone badly for you, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, Point, Points-wise as well, it's gone poorly. Agreed. Not, not too bad, but... So there, there. So you moved some out of. Yes. Yeah, in theory, something moved from there. From there to there. To there. And now, um, moving up this way, we will go. That. Yep. And that is here. You have three there, so I'd need at least an eight. Or if I could add, I think so. So, this, we are going to break that down to that, replacing that, and then this will go there. One, two. I don't think we're going to mess with that fortress right now. Um, is that insane without... Uh, 
Okay, right. I forgot about that. Shoot. Then we will go one, two. <laughs> oh. Um, lacking in horses. What I'm wondering right now is looking at this is, is it dumb to try and punch a hole through that? Because that is such a big number in, in, uh, Verdun. in Verdun tied up there. Can I? Is that stupid? I don't know. I really don't know. Um... Because he doesn't get to retaliate before I get to reorganize, let's do it. So we're going to go two there and two there. I mean, I realize I'm leaving the gap, and I'm, I'm, but I'm going to be able to come back into Verdun and here in two. Then I, I'll be honest, up here, I am a little bit scared. I don't want to mess with those. I don't think. That makes me nervous. I don't know. So... God, do I have big, big, big hopes for that. But I, I actually want to lose a, a troop. I know that sounds terrible, but I actually want to lose one of those. So I think that's it. I think I'm done. Okay. So. Whew. Artillery. Mm -hmm. So artillery. Let's see. I have that, that, that. there the most annoying part about yeah. this yeah is i cannot kill a block with artillery you cannot i could that's a two i it could is get it down to a two. one maybe it's really hard to hit one guy <laughs> all these guns <laughs> <laughs> it's dodgeball i'm in middle school it's dodgeball if you can dodge a wrench <laughs> you can dodge an artillery shell apparently i'm gonna put that one there Okay. So again, artillery, I don't have to match him. I can put in any contested hex. All along the front lines, the guns are firing. Swibbling in my chair. I'm getting pent up now. <laughs> <laughs> I will go there. Uh... He might as well use it because no, I, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, right, I, yeah. I just, there's no reason to not to hold it back now. The, the question is, where's the best place? I'll put it there. Okay, and so I will go. Okay, well, here it doesn't matter. Uh, it's so, a zero. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So, your three, my one here. Your two, two, and my one. All right. Um, all right, so we'll start here. We'll do this systematically to make sure we don't miss anything. Nothing there, nothing, nothing there. Yeah. So I get one shot. Gun. Yeah, one shot, five or six, see if you can pip someone. Nope. So that's done. No, no. Here, I get five shots. Yep. Five or sixes. That'll work. Three of them. Jeez. Okay. Bust this down. They were dialed to... in before. Uh... Well, they've been waiting there for some time. Yes. So there, then I guess we'll go here. Yep. So you get your one. Five, five or six. No, absolutely not. And one. One. Pick that down. Okay. So that is done. Coming down. Nothing, nothing, nothing. 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 One there. Fives or sixes? Nope. Good. And I you get, get two. Two in Strasbourg. 
Nope. Awesome. Fire for effect. No effect. Yeah. All right. So that is artillery. So now I have to declare we're get, we're, we're saying that it's one by one, right? Yep. So no. <sighs> no. <sighs> no. And now we'll get to the yeses, or yep. at least some of them. Sure. So uh, first things first, which I feel like is the most important that I'm not sure. We will go here to okay. start. So that is five, six, seven to your two. <gasps> Three. Two. Shoot, I miscounted. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. All right. Well, that is seven to your three. My dice odds. Um, no, I'll leave that one. That's fine. Okay. All right. So seven is one, two, three, four. So dead. Four. And I take... And you get three. Three out on the way. Wow. I needed you to kill one of the horses. I know that sounds terrible. I know that, but I needed that. Well, you're welcome. So that'll be, that's going to be a three, and that one goes away. That becomes a three. Good hits. Good yeah, hits. Yeah, that was, that was, that was important. Yep. Breakout move. There. All right, so that one is done. Now we will go on to this. That is three. You're going to attack? Mm, hold on. I get the option to reinforce or retreat before you reveal the block. Oh, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. That is a very, very, very good point. You made the right, you made the right decision attacking in the other space first. but uh, Yeah. All right, I think we'll go here first. Okay. Actually. Um, so, do you wish to reinforce or retreat? Because you can take five of these. Yep. I will. I'll retreat. I'll spend a logistics point and I'll pull back to that fortress. Okay. So, I move like this. All right, so that means that becomes this. Yeah, I'm. And. I probably should have. Mm. No, if you want to change it, no. you can. I'm actually going to. I'm still spending the logistics point. I'm going to reinforce. I got to keep you out of here. If I let you break out here, you're going to take a bunch of points. I 100% so. will. So that becomes a here, a five. I'm, oh, I'm actually. I'm moving five to here. I'm just going to swap these. This oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that works. Yeah, that works out. So. Yep. I reinforce five yep. from here to there. Yep. Just swap them. Okay. So now we're going to fight. We sure are. This is, this is probably going to be painful. 15? Yeah, 15 to 8. So on fives or sixes, I don't think I can do it. I need a 15 or higher. I, I didn't think about you reinforcing that, and I messed that up because I my thinking. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about this a little bit. My thinking, oh, too far, sorry. There we go. My thinking here was if I can, I split that horse up for the breakout. and Yeah, I could, yeah. Yeah, because that's that's three points. And if I had just retreated, which my, was my original thought, I, I would, would do the let exact you do same it. thing. I at least no, you did it. you did the right thing. So it is fifteen to eight here. So uh, I, unlike you, have no compulsion about rolling other colored dice. So I will take. Could I have two of those? Please, Absolutely. Here, here, hold on. Do you want to choose which two? I I mean, some people might get squarely about that. Yeah, so okay, that fives and sixes. Show me the money. Turncoats. One, One two, three, three, four. Oh. The boy's coming through. Hence, <laughs> turn coach. Let's go. All right. Well, those, those are. Okay. So, four. Yep. And that is yeah. 11. 11 on. 11 on fives and sixes. 11 on 15. That is five. So, and I lose four. So I got to go down to a three year, which I do have. Four. That'll go to a nine, and I'll take. Hold on. And so that went to a nine, and that comes off. Yep. Yes, boys. Good job. Hmm. Well in. Hmm. You're right. All right. Well, that's that. Now, do I wish... Oh, 
You know what? I think you've already declined combat here. I'm going to stand these up. Yeah. Uh, just so however. I, just so I don't forget. We will have combat there. Sure. Do you wish to retreat or reinforce? I'll reinforce. Okay. Spend a logistics point. Whoop. And I will pull in up to five from there. Yep. Turn that down to a one because I have to leave something. Move that there and bring that in there. Which, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to combine two infantry blocks. Sure. Like that. We're putting it down anyway. Okay, so. yeah, yeah. It's an 11 and one horse. <laughs> uh, do you wish you could? Uh, can you? Hold on. I don't, I'm not sure I can because this is unfriendly contested. Yeah, let I me, think. let, let I, me, I, you got it. I got it. I, I don't think I can. I'm not sure if I'd want to any, you've already declined combat there. I have. That is, well, I would argue you don't know that. Technically. But what, here? No, you yeah. did, you did say I, I choose. But, but, but it's, yeah, but theoretically uh, yeah, I could you go could back on have. it. True. If you change it, I could, if you pull out from there, I That's, could hit that. That is true. Right? Points. Optionally, decide to respond by spending it. It did not retreat. Blocks are removed. Combat table. Why does it show, where does it show reinforcing? Am I crazy? Uh, it's in it's section 11. Or 10. 10. Sorry. 10. Reinforced. Well, just, ah. See, I'm looking on the I, actual I know, I know. Hmm. Not where I would have put it, but yeah, I digress. Well. Or at least a reference to, hey, yeah. go check it out. Anyway. Uh, one OP allows a passive player to reinforce. To reinforce each adjacent hex. If SPs are coming up. If reinforcing strength is coming from a contested hex, from a contested, at least one has to stay behind. I could, in theory, also send this here. This is not a contested hex. Yes. I might as well. Okay. Um, right. If reinforced comes to contact it, so yeah, I could. You in could. Th could, in theory, I'd simply have to leave one behind. And to be clear, if you choose to, I could then choose to fight that. No, I'm fine right. with my 13 here. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, I, and again, we're, you know, the, the casual game, the chatting about it. He doesn't have to say he's not fighting in here until he's ready to do so, in which case he would probably work through some other things first right. before saying he's not going to fight. Them. Right. But So that is uh, 16. 16 to 13. Uh, yeah, 16 to 13. Right. Okay. We get to roll on the good table. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it. That's a 10. 10 for how much? Uh, I have 16 on fives and sixes, that's five. Five, okay. Uh, and then you're at 13. Don't worry, I got you. It's a okay. five, here, I hit for five. Perfect. And I'm rolling 13. On uh, nine. Nine, ah, that's crap, three. three. So five, five to three. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll take down one horse and then four will go on this. I'll pop it to a seven. Three, that'll just be a six. <sighs> All right. Stand these up. And I think that's going to be all the combat. All right. Because I know that's a non small number. Yeah, I, I can still only take five. Yeah, so I know. In, again, I'm under no compulsion to help my opponent win, but in theory, that is the lowest that that's going to be. Yeah. Forever. Yes. <laughs> so. But, I mean. You're about to get a breakout move, though, although this was already contested. Yeah, so, so I not can't. Get a combat and, and same goes here. I can't combat that. Yep. So, in other words, the horses are just going to ride up. Yeah, you're going to so. infantry here, horses yeah. there to take your points. Yep. So, stand over. Oh, this is this is killing me because I need to be putting more pressure over here to keep your resources tied up, but I'm just letting you run around. Yeah, I appreciate that. So the breakout now, um, what I wanted to see, a breakout is that only it's one less basically, yes. right? So horses can go, horses cavalry go to, can go to right? until trench warfare breaks right. out, and so then one, everybody two, can. so that'll go there, that'll go there. 
Um, which I'm. Uh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna muck about with the front lines. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry ahead. about no, me. No, you're fine. This right, one. Honestly, it it actually helps me see it as well. So it's like it's kind of because like now we don't need these. We don't need right. this one. It's kind of fiddly, but that one that one's gonna stay there. Oh, it does. You, you're, you, right. you're doing yeah. what I did yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, you have yeah, a little bulge. Yeah, yeah. It is a little um, fiddly, but it's worthwhile. Visual, like the visual tracking on what it's also, I think, really you know cool. Someone commented about the appearance of the board earlier. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if the blocks weren't there; it'd be more clear. But to just see the ever evolving front lines, I think, is a really neat part of it. I, I, I agree. I mean, when you look at it, I mean, especially considering we know that the line started here and then around Belgium, and now you right. can clearly see my stall defensive. Yeah, Edwards making his push. Right? Yeah, I, I like the narrative of what it what it oh, yeah. says. Finding, this is, yeah. finding the narrative in the game is very cool. Um, the question is, do I do anything with this, or do I keep him there? I the pro the scary thing for me, well, he's it within reach of this no matter what. Yes, and you know that that is once again some portion of thirty. Yeah, I do. Well, actually, it's no more than twenty. No more than twenty because right. it's a single block. And in in all likelihood, <laughs> odds are it's probably a twenty. Yeah, interesting. So. You know what? I am going to do that. So this is resolving your breakout move. Yeah. Yep. And that. Oh, the first deception block hits the board. Or the third. Or I, I don't know. Who I, could say? Who could say? Right, who can say? All right, that's it. So now we are done with that. So now we go into strategic, uh, strategic. strategic reorganization. No. Yep, this one. All right. So let's. Ooh. Okay. All right. Strategic reorganizations completed simultaneously by both players. The players with initiative can make any final adjustments. Now, I'm going to read through the nine steps here of strategic reorganization for folks, uh, which it's right there, here. Uh, so, a block must be in supply to participate, otherwise his SBs cannot move during strategic reorganization. I would argue everything is in supply. Yeah, the only thing that might be close, it's a little fiddly down here, but I can still have a chain of hexes yeah. back to friendly. Nothing up here, everything's good. So everyone's in supply. I have 15. We don't, that, that we don't I know, I'm yeah, just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just interested. Oh no, I'm, I'm, um, in, I'm in pain there. Uh, <laughs> a hex must have a line of supply or else uh, no SPs can move into or out of it, to be clear. But I, again, I don't think that's an issue. I think we're good. I think so. Uh, a block being decreased and a block being increased as a result, they have to have supply to each other. Yep. Again, shouldn't be a problem. Every frontline hex that began this step with a block must end the phase with a block. Could be a deception block, but everywhere there is a blue block, there must be a blue block. Yep. Same with a beige, black, etc. Uh, deception blocks may be moved in this phase and may replace a block to meet the previous rule, as said. Mm -hmm. Total SPs are static. Let's say the number is 60. There must be 60 when it's done. Yeah, and as we go through this, we're just going to say, oh, I'm here, I'm down 5, up 5, down 8. Um, a lot of math kind of happening live as we move things around. And I can't reduce Belgian to increase French. Yep. Right, obviously. At the end of the phase, no hex can have more than three blocks. So this is a bit kinda, um, kinda slow a yeah. bit, but. What do you think, you think you're gonna break this guy down? Put one on one somewhere, get the I, guy back out? I could, I, I very much could. I mean, I could head on over to uh, Ypres if I wanted. Okay, let's go.
Oh, this is this is brutal right now. Yeah, it's tough. To quote Edward, talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, this is this is really hard to figure out. So again, this is also a weird phase where we are doing this at the same time, but because I uh, still have initiative, after Edward says he's done and I say I'm done, I get to look and I can make a couple more changes. Again, there's no time limit. We won't. I won't spend forever. You can right. probably yeah. AP this to death, but. Um, So that, and if it's not on the front line, it can just come off, to be clear. Yeah, so these back here, if he has any sort of strength back yeah, here. Yeah, so like, for instance, what I'm doing here is I'm taking all of these, and this is what needs to go back onto the board, for yep. sure. Yep. Now, I would, uh, this is technically front line? I, I mean, it's not contested. So, oh yeah, well, I mean, we probably need to that. That and two more over here, and then coming around. So I would argue that's front line. I mean, you're on the front line, yeah. Right. So yeah. you need to at least have one one left kept there. there. Right. So if that's the case, I'm going to do this temporarily. There, there, and that. I think this helps being able to do this. So here I'll 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 uh those all belong out there still. Wow, this is this is scary. Yeah, this is hard. So those are the blocks that I've taken off here and all. So that, those need to go back on, well, most of them need to go back on, or at least that total. So I have, okay. All right. While you think, I'm going to take this opportunity to use the restroom. Go for it. This is this is hard. Plus, gives me an opportunity actually to think out loud. Yep. And then, by the time I come back, I assume you'll be done. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I can make my adjustments. Yep. And I will actually do the exact same. So, this being the question I have is, do I just retreat from here? Do I pull back and then put all my strength up here because he expects me to be down here? I think I'm going to do that. I, like all, a lot of this is going to be deception because I know he's loading up there. So I'm going to actually put all my strength up through this area and then try and punch a line back through that way. So we'll see how it works. So with that said, that will come off there. That deception block will go there. I'm actually going to make that a one. That turns to a seven then. And I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put another deception block there, which pulls that back. And I think I will do a deception block there. Now, I realize that he's going to figure this out, but by the time he figures it out, I think it's going to be too late. So, we'll see if this works. And I'm going to put a one there and pull these back. And now, all of this stuff I can load up on. Okay. You know what? I'm going to swap those. Yeah, I like that idea. So I'm going to focus 
here, even though I should theoretically focus here, but I know he expects me to. So we'll see how that works, okay? So with that said, this, which is currently 12 and 1, is going to be a 20 and 4. I'm not done, but I talked it through, and I agree with myself. At least someone does. Yeah. Okay. So those... A... All right. Um... So I still have these to place back out on the board in some configuration. Um, I agree. Could I steal the rules from you? Yeah, you're still working. Uh, I think they're underneath right your there. reference yeah. right there. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. I'm not done yet, but I'll bear it back. Close. Close. So I get to wait until he's done done. He has to say he's done. And then I, because I kept initiative, get to fiddle a little bit more. I get to maneuver myself around the map based off his final position. But it's, oh, it's not good. We're thin. I really needed the fight for Antwerp to resolve faster because that was tying up 20 down to 12 now of my troops I needed to happen so I, I could leave you know there's one guy there two guys however many it is I could leave it you know with a handful a half dozen maybe and hope for the best but my die has dice rolling has not been good and I needed to I needed to be done and I can get my breakout move and keep pushing I've generally otherwise spread forces around. I've obviously reinforced Strasbourg. I got that up to a 10 instead of a three. Um, I've tried to halt his advance into his scoring spots around here, keeping nominal forces in most uh, fortresses. So we'll see. It'll be curious to see if you talk to them about uh, your I, your plans. I did. Okay, so they have all the information now, and so this will be this will be interesting, I think. Again, um, the concept of military intelligence is the world's greatest oxymoron. Right, and I think. All right, so everything's back on the board where it's supposed to be. However. Now I need to, yeah, this, this doesn't work. It's a real shame. Bummer. Okay, so if that's the case, we're going to have to make some changes.
good with that. That goes back. Is Verdun points for me? Huh? Is Verdun a point space for yes. me? Yes. It has to be. Yeah, the, the one closest to me is. Oh, we do get to score in a minute. That'll be we do. crushing for me. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, honestly. Um, oh, you're not going to win outright, are you? No. No, no, no. I, I haven't done the math, but I don't think so. I'm That's... fairly certain not. Um, because I managed this. <laughs> you, oh no, you haven't taken this yet. It's just contested. No, no, yeah. the game's not no, going to auto hunt. No, no, no. That would have been a. <sighs> yeah, that would have been bad. <laughs> um, really letting down the Kaiser. I don't know. I feel like I'm making a mistake by doing what I think I'm doing, but I'm done. All right, so he's done. Am I? Well, hold on. <laughs> Paris is undefended, and there's still that. So no, maybe it's not a moment. Sorry. Well, reminder that we're about to score, and then we're going to be getting reinforcements. You'll be getting... Oh, that's true. 20, 30, something. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, going to yeah. be getting 20 in Paris in a minute. You're right. So, so no, I did right. No, I'm good. I'm good. Done. So I get to fiddle a little bit more. Yep, if you want to. I think I might. I think I'll do... That and that and do uh, math. And then once you're done, I'm going to give the folks a tour of the front <laughs> going into the second. Are you ready? I'm done. All right, here we go. So there's the values of the Brits up there. Okay. This, this, in there. this pest. <laughs> oh, that? Oh, that's glorious. Ugh. That's glorious. There we go. There. Uh, all right, so moving on down to Verdun area. Then the Marne. And then, well, I guess then technically we have... Yeah, we'll go back to Verdun. And then moving down into that area. And there we go. That's pretty much it. All right. So with that said, we are done with strategic, strategic uh, reorganization. Now scoring. So here we go. Oh, you have the play. The yeah, it's right here. All right. Permanent victory points for you. You have, so technically those are one time. Those can be lost but regained. So, so one Two. Two points for Kyle. All right. And now for me is plan 17. So I get one, two, three, four. I believe that's it because everything else is contested. You are, yeah, you're contested in some spaces there, here, there, there, here. There, yeah. That, as just as that I'm hurt. contesting here. Yeah, and it's here. only four to two. So, so nowhere near it. Wall. Um. The end of turn three, depending on how many hexes you have in France, if it's eight or less, I get three. Yeah. Uh, if it's nine to 11, I get two. If it's 12 to 14, I get one. Otherwise, it's zero. Yep. Yeah. Territory. I just need to push territory on you. Right. And you will be getting some number of points. It's up to me to reduce it. Right. All right. So that is the end of the round. Turn two. Okay. So U.S. entry. Eastern front, throw a blue cube into the bag. Uh, well, so the eastern front, I'm going to lose one less naval warfare, or I'm going to lose an economic point, naval warfare, blue cube in the bag. Boop. Right? You're, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm getting out of order. You're right. Economic maintenance. So oh, yeah. I get six, you get ten, which is really nine. Well, we... Yep. Yep. Again, economic maintenance, but uh, whatever. Yeah. You get six? Yes. Oh, that's glorious. Eh, it'll go down. Maybe. Hopefully. There's no white cubes in that bag anymore. That That is a true point. So economic, uh, also we drop all of these one each. Yeah. So I would get 10, I get two, four, six, eight, nine instead. All of these drop one. And by the way, the blue cube in there is the Eastern Front. Uh, robot. Real quick. 
Uh, no, sorry, it's in the It's in the playbook because it's, it's the modified yeah. rules down. Yeah. It's basically I'm I would add the blue cube when I declare unrestricted submarine. That's warfare. what it is. I'm gonna be declaring it anyway. Okay. So. Alright, well then it's moot. Alright, so manpower deployment. Uh, all right, I get twenty in Paris. Jesus. Read those numbers out loud. Read them out loud. You get I get twenty and six in England, and you get forty in Koblenz and fifteen in the Eastern Front. But, boop, boop. Yeah. Wow. Twenty and six. Thoughts. Wanna just take this off? As we get more points, the Eastern Front. We're not adjusting it. I should be adjusting this up and down yeah. for the Eastern Front, so we'll so, just take that off. Twenty. Make it easy. Go ahead and throw that in England, please. Thank yep. you. All right. Uh, uh, I, we, I took 40 in Copelands. 40. Nice. 40. That's a big number. Mm. Naval warfare. I can, I can divvy these up into some cavalry, right? Can I? Uh, that's actually, uh, let me see. I don't know what the answer is. I think if you have it. I have Because economic cavalry. points is infantry into cavalry, you can do one of those, but can you win? Uh, this is technically manpower deployment, right? I'm just curious because I they move faster. They're they're the same in combat. They're the same in breakout moves, at least for our purposes. Well, I, I no would trenches. love that. If, if I would so. also love that because um, I could get some places a little faster. Let me see. Uh, I'm assuming it has to be infantry, and then you can spend the economic point to upgrade it. But if I could, you know. Put down some number of horses. I'd be interested. Each scenario has a setup sheet. Da -da -da -da. All blocks have to be placed. Paris, Koblenz, England, the U.S. are Im immediately under the front line. You choose which blocks to deploy from your force pool when placing SPs. For example, the French are receiving 20 SPs. The ally player can deploy 120 or 210s, provided the blocks are available in the force pool. If they're, it's under, I would have to go to the west or to the south if that were controlled. It doesn't say. I, part of me thinks it might be you have to do it. I, I I feel like that's given that it think. lets you have it forces you to upgrade converting infantry to cavalry by economic I points. Think I so. Let's go with it. Yeah. Okay. So twenty infantry, twenty infantry. Right. All over the place. All right. Uh, so next, naval warfare. You said you're already you already blew, threw the blue cube into the bag. Yes. I'm right. uh, I I was just mucking about with my artillery. I've already I've already added a blue cube. I am declaring unrestricted All submarine right, warfare. Three, one at a time. Hold on. Right there on the chart. How do I how do I get black cubes in this bag? <laughs> I don't think I can. You don't. You're just making it harder. Yeah, that's true. Alright, we'll we'll go all three at once. One, two, three. So. Alright, so we'll start with the blue cubes. You lose and a blockade. That it's because it was simply a success, this goes up. I believe so. Let's double check. Then increase new, if any blue cubes. Yes. If any, okay. So I lose two modifiers, still zero. Then it goes up. So the next time now I would lose, you're gonna lose two. plus one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then. All right. So now for you, uh, increase that by one. Yep. Roll a d6. I got it. Yeah, we learned our lesson about rolling on this yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's a four. Four. All right, so now we're going to reference the track for the updated value on the USW track. So it's a one there. Roll it. Reduce the British SPs in England. Uh, By that number. Yeah, so go ahead and just roll it. This way? Other way. This way. There you go. Good. Um, and advance the US entry track. Whoa! They, they're coming. I'm just saying, I mean, theoretically, by the end, it could. It could. Well, if it, if it moved, because I didn't draw a black cube last term, I don't think we could make it. <laughs> so, the first time the USW is declared, the US entry moves automatically one space to the right. For all subsequent USW resolutions, only advance if two or more black cubes were drawn and a six was rolled. So it's really unlikely. Yeah. So, and these... Back into the bag. Back into the bag. 
So yeah, I never add any black cubes to this bag, but every in the shortened scenario, every time I declare USW, it gets a little tougher for me. Right. So, but you're taking down I do, English troops, which there's a reason I'm doing that. So okay, we'll I, see. I believe you. All right, uh, now spend your economic points. So yeah, let me see. Okay. One to that. Oh, one to that. Out of supply is what? Can't move, can only move back into supply if it receives one right now. A logistic point. You have to spend a logistic point to get it back into supply once it is officially back in supply, and you lose half your strength, or the dice, rounded okay. up. All right. Okay, so I spent that already to move this, so that's done. Let me grab the let me grab the uh, yep. rules. Thank you. I think that's how we're gonna do it, I think. Sorry, I'm, I, I need to, I'm hurting on the supply track and I've, I have a stretched front, so I need to figure out what no out, of, out of supply does. I'm done. Yeah, I need just a moment. And here's my bed. Here's mine. Right? Yep. Okay. So, allocating supply. <laughs> uh, I'm good. I, I, I'm within. I'm one short. Okay. This hex can go out of supply. This hex? This one right here. Okay, so let me grab one of the markers. Yay, I have a supply. Sure, sure am. So, one of, I, I have 13 that hexes one. I need to account for. We don't need to account for Koblenz, Paris, or England. Mm -hmm. These two count. This one, this one, and this one does not. Total up, I'm at 13, and my cap track is at 12. So I have to choose one to go out of... Uh, I'm at 16 and my, my I'm above. I that. start so okay. low. Yeah. Oh, it hilarious. hurts. Okay. Out of supply movement. Uh, they can only move one hex in the direction of supply and they take this marker with them. Yes. So even though they have a supply line, I'm feeding them no supplies. So if I want to move them, I can't advance them. I can't send them anywhere else. Um, and in combat, they roll half die rounded down. And I cannot put artillery there. So, kind of hanging those guys out to dry, but I'm 
picking my shot. Okay. Uh, all right. So that was uh, spending economic points, initially, uh, revealing initiative bid, allocating supply, done. Dogfighting. Dogfighting has begun. Yes. So we can now... Uh, we can. So now, when we place, I can only react to where you place. Yep. And you basically, when you pass, you're done with the hex. So, but you can still go other places. Yeah, you're just responding to me. You are That's sending all out, I'm doing right now, if I wish to. And we'll talk about how the dogfighting works in reconnaissance yes. when we get there. All right. Yep. We'll put one there. Which again, they go face down because these have values that could go up to three or four, but depending. He has on the Red Baron that isn't going to come into play yet, uh, and I have uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't Rene know. Fung. Rene. Rene. I, I I know nothing of him. Uh, Everybody knows the Red Baron, obviously. Mm, Baron von Richthofen. So I could go there or there. I'll pass. I too shall pass. Here's a one. Here's a one. We have two. So All right. This one resolves as they did in the first part. Uh, no defense was thrown up. I'm simply going to pick a block. Yep. That one. Okay. Okay. I, now I know. Now you, and knowing's half the battle. The other half, violence. Yes. <laughs> you are correct, sir. All right. So we have a dogfight. A dogfight. Uh, this works just like regular combat. Um, a five means an abort means it just comes back to base. Yep, you're gonna, we're gonna roll off and aborts cancel. So if you roll one five and I roll one five, I, my, my plane makes it through. Yes. But six is damage and there's no canceling those and we'll eat damage which affects our track. And yes. We'll see how we get on, so. <sighs> nope. All right, so nothing. Right, yeah, right. Nothing happens. Tat, I, get, tat, 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 I, get, tat, tat, tat. I get to see the block. Yeah. Show me the block. Yes. That's what I thought. So that comes off. Yes. It goes back into the supply. I needed to see that. That is what I needed to see. Why did you need to see that? Because uh, it's just it's a load off my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Block movement. I probably could have been more clever with those. Maybe look at something over here to push my lines, but eh, it's fine. Are y'all enjoying this, everybody at home? Hopefully. All right, well, let's start with the big ones. One, two, one, two. Okay. Who knows what those could be? I, in fact, know exactly what they are. Exactly what they, they are. They can only be 20s. 20s. Um, more meat for the grinder. More meat for the grinder. World War One. That guy is in there. Okay, knowing what I know now. Oh, I don't even know how much I'm gonna move to be honest. I'm kind of well pleased with where everything is. Um, I really gonna do this. One, two, three. Ah, all right. Why not? It's it is dumb, but it'll be funny. Okay. Um, bearing that in mind, <laughs> uh, I need to move some other things around. I will move. 
guess I didn't realize I left a gap there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will put replace that with ooh, those, and then I will move that to there. Fill the gap, and I'm actually not sure I'm going to move too much else. I need a strong. I need a strong pushback. I need to. Uh, I'll actually. I'll take that down. Move that. Uh, Where do you hold on? You said move. I okay, tick gotcha, something gotcha, down gotcha, here, okay. and they're just going to shift over here. Okay. Um, I can't believe I left a gap like that. That was dumb. Speaking of meat for the grinder, I think I'm going to tick this down from what it is now to this. One, two, over here, and take that up to that. Done with movement. Okay. Artillery. Oh, mm. No, I actually need to push down here. I need to push a little bit. Um, I forgot that. I don't have to defend this anymore. Oh, at least not as at least not as much. Um, well, in this moment. In this moment, I will go. That I will replace with. That and that, and we'll ship in there. And then this I will replace with that and that. Now I'm done. Hard, hard stop. Okay. Artillery. Sure is. Have a good one, Spike. Good. Glad y'all are enjoying this. Seeing new names. That's always always nice. Oh, I, I wonder. It's it's this hex, but I'm gonna put it there. Okay. I wonder, truly, what that could be. Ah. Burn that so bedroom. this is here. Yes. Okay. That center one. Yep. Yep. Actually, yep. yeah, yeah, I know. That's right. That's right. This was so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kind of love it, though. And how many did it move? Three. Okay, all right, just making sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, it can't be more than a four. <laughs> you might have sussed it out, Edward. I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. Uh, I pass. I also pass. Okay. Up here, three and one. Okay. Over. Here. Yeah, it doesn't. It's yeah, all gonna happen yeah, regardless. Yeah. So that that's a bluff. Okay. Uh, I sent Big Bertha to Verdun. Seems appropriate. Up there? Yep. So I'm rolling four to your free one. Yep. Six is for me. Yep. Uh, yeah, no big Bertha. So one hit. One and hit. And then here's my freebie. Nope. Nope. Done. Fortress for you. Okay. It is. Those are and done. now big Bertha goes first. Yes. And uh, she goes first because I will spend the LP. Rolling four, fives and sixes, hits applied to... Verdun. Verdun. Got one. All right, so I adjust to a four. 
Uh, it's you got to switch oh. it out for one of the other uh, ones. Do you? I have a four. If you oh, here they are. No. Oh, there, there you go. go. Yeah. Verdun's a special token. It's the only five fortress. Yeah. So. Now it's a four. All right. So take your uh, go and roll your one. Oh yeah. It's six only. That's yours. It is mine. Don't argue with me. Uh, all right. So my I, your guns have done so well for me in the past. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm shooting five, uh, fives and sixes, just one. Yeah. One. Toop. Ouch. Yeah. That was terrible. All right. Uh, combat. Got to do it one okay. time. Yep. You just uh, declare where there is combat. Belgium. Have you learned nothing, sir? So, uh, I am not retreating. I was about to say, you want to run? Or nope. You... To the last, then. Yes. What is that? 12. Oh. The reason it's 12 is that way I have to roll 12 dice. <laughs> <laughs> I could have left it 13. Nope. I want to roll the most die I can at a single time. On fives and sixes, I no, need no fortress. Two fives and sixes. I got it. One, two, three, four. You boys love it. They love it. Okay, but he he does swing on the way out. Oh yes. Fives and sixes. Oh! You expect nothing else. There's got to be a level of respect. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I'm not mad about it at all, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> hold on. He gets he gets memorialized. Yeah. Battle, battle saying, honors. Yeah. Battle honors for that part. Uh, absolutely that is, does. That is unreal. Like, moment of silence. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Get my breakout move later. Uh, we will continue the assault here. Would you like to pull out a reinforce? Uh, cannot reinforce, and no, they will stay and fight. All right. 13 for me. 13 to 4. Well, let me fix that so it doesn't keep. There we go. All right. Never forget the Belgians. Exactly. I, I'm going to do my best, but. <laughs> All right. 13. Rolling 3. And this is fives and sixes, right? So 13 fives and sixes to get uh, four. Four is a 10 or higher. Averages say. Averages say. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <sighs> One. I right, glory to roam to the dice. <laughs> I'm, I was okay with this. I, I believe in the karmic swings of dice. I'm a big fan of it. You know, I play a lot of D&D, &D, so I'm, I'm, I really believe in the dice as storytelling objects, and that was a story that was just told. I do one hit. One. Someone put a timestamp so I can send Alyssa back here if she's not watching. <laughs> Nothing. None, but that's okay. <sighs> and done. <laughs> My head hurts. <laughs> oh, my, my head hurts. Okay, we'll go to the bottom. I will fight that combat. Okay. <laughs> Good, she's here. <laughs> she LOL indeed, Alyssa. Yeah, she, she appreciates that. Uh, all right, so here? Yep, that one. All right, it is 8 v nothing. Yep. I figured as much. Did you? You get you don't get a breakout. I don't because there's no troop. Mm -hmm. Take that though. Yeah, I wish I got a breakout there, but that would probably be mechanically a little too strong. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Right. The other well, one. one in two hundred and sixteen, by the way. Oh, I am one in two hundred and sixteen. Alyssa, I will just move up the line. I'll take the next one. Okay. This uh, one here. Do I wish to reinforce from that one? Oh, just show me the deception block. It's not a deception block. I don't believe you. <laughs> it's really not. Um, do I wish to retreat? I will retreat. Okay. 
So I will spend the one logistics, and that will go to there. To be clear, you cannot retreat a deception block. I do get a breakup, though. You do. For that one, I do. And now that that's done, a moment. This space is now out of supply. It is. Okay. There is Verdun, there is Verton. Ooh. Verton. Do I? And that's it. Hmm. Breakout moves happen at the end. Um, I will not fight that. Hmm. Okay. Yep, I will not fight that. Uh, 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 goodness. Do I want to fight these? <laughs> I don't want to look at that. Um, yeah, I'll push this one. Fighting here. We'll fight. All right. Hold on, but uh, I get to reinforce if I want. If you want. I do not. Okay. Nine total. 24. There she is. Okay. Okay. So just straight up out in the open. Your nine. There you go. I'll take three more. Oh my god. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, yeah, five. Ouch. You. Five. All Ouch. right, so 24 on fives and sixes. That's pretty good. That's the highest we've seen so far. That uh, needs to be a 13. 13 gets or it higher, done. and you're just outright. 13 gets it done. Okay. That would be a 16, 16, to be clear. 16 on 24. 13 hits. Is 13. So I lose five. You do lose five. Do you get a breakout for that, or is it just active player? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. It is the first time we've actually had a defender like clear it. If no passive player SPs remain. You simply repelled my attack very okay. successfully. All right, so I need, I'm going to drop that to a 15. Okay, then this will flip, and we'll add... Like that. Okay. Whoo, doggy. Is that, I'm curious, is that what you expected to be there? No. Okay. More, it was, I was expecting it to be more, not 24. Bigger than 24? No, 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 less than 24. Oh, okay. I was to be less than 24. Now, the real question is, do I want to push for done? Because if you do, now the, now the reinforcements can come from there and from there. Yep. No, I'll delete. I'm simply laying siege to Verdun. Okay. That'll be me. All right. Over to you. All right. By the way, what's amazing to me is this puppy goes up to 60. 60. I was, I was impressed with my 24. Um, all right. Aerial. Combat. Yes. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oop. Oh, I got breakouts. You do. You have breakout there, break, and back there. Those are your two. Yep. Uh, well, this one will definitely go. Uh, it is infantry, so it's only going to go one. Uh, it will go its one. Okay. Uh, breakout move. What do I want to do with the other one? Now, with this being out of supply, it has to move towards supply. That's legit, correct? Yeah, I would say that's okay. one space towards supply. I, either of these, to me, would be correct. Okay. I, yeah, I think so, too. So, okay. Um, no, I will decline the breakout move there. 
Hmm. Probably foolhardy, but... Okay. All right, so now it's my turn. Yes. So now Ariel happens. Yes. And that was... Uh, nope. Yeah, it's... Wait a minute. I... Did I screw this up? Hold on. How many... No, I did... No, I, I did it right. I used two. So, that... that I mean, that's public, Set so... Set these back up for you. Okay, so Whoop. I have those. Okay, thank you. All right. Um... I left it. Hey, that I was mean, that was what was going to happen inevitably. Um, Oh, I guess you could. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so this is either two to one or two to zero. It's two to one. Two to one. Um, let's just go ahead and handle that one first. Here. Nope. Yeah, it doesn't matter, actually. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. It's a damage. So I have to take a damage marker, please. Yes. One damage. One damage. And... Those will flip up. You'll see a one Ooh. and a deception. Oh, wow. I'll be honest, did not expect that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> he sounds thrilled. <laughs> mm. And here. Uh, so the damage I take. It gets resolved. We'll, we'll, we'll get through this. Then we yeah, can talk yeah, about go what ahead. It does. So I have a one. The other one's a deception. Uh, I a have zero. two. So I'm rolling two. You're rolling one. One. Yep. Okay. Nope. Nope. All right. So I get to see one. Pick your poison. Oh, peanut gallery. Y'all get to do my work for me. One, two, or three. You guys pick while I then go ahead and start the move phase. I will, uh, I'll use this opportunity to. <sighs> um. To be clear, cavalry can move three, right? Mm -hmm. And two on breakouts. All right, looks like three, so it's going to be this one. Nine. 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 Okay. Uh, all right, so we're going to go here. One, two, three. And let's go ahead and help him out. Yeah, that guy's out of supply. And... There, that drops this down. Okay.
And to be clear, this guy is here, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Oh my God, this is, all right. Um, those will come forward actually all the way to Dunkirk. Okay. hard, not going to lie. Um, I need to be real careful, but I think That could be a really scary number. So what I'm thinking is if I come in here, he's within reach of this 20. Mm -hmm. Plus, there's those. So it could be up to 31. What does a 31 look like? Pretty good. Pretty, good. Pretty solid. Um, but it at least ties that up. All right, so we're gonna break. This is this is this is pretty awesome. That's yeah, juicy. Gonna break this one down. Mm. That'll go there and there. Right? No, 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 no. I need it there and there. So it's going to go there, there. Take Luxembourg for the good guys and then. I also need to break that down to that and that. And that will go there. That comes off. And 
those go there. And then we will go One, two, three. Which means all of those are out of supply. Am I correct? I think so, because this is the this issue. Is, those are me as well, right? I believe so. So that means all of these because of that. Yeah. There, 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 and there. Mm. On your end, at least. So now, anything, this is so taxing and so difficult right here. No, that will move to there. That brings the out of supply with it. That block <laughs> is out of supply, not the other one. And that actually will move back into the fortress. Now I'm happy with it. Done. Getting back into supply is insane. It is not easy between now and then because it takes logistic points. If you can trace a path, it just costs a logistics point. That's so crazy. Okay. As, okay, as Napoleon said in Army Marches on Its Stomach, yeah? Yeah. Did you learn nothing, man? War, war runs on the train timetables. Yes, it does. All right. Um... This is different than our last game. <laughs> I, I, I've never won to... We'll, we'll talk about it at the end. Okay, We'll talk right. about it at the end. I'm not worried about it. All right, so... Uh, combat. Or artillery, sorry. Yep. Um... You cannot place artillery anywhere there's out of supply. Yep. Correct. I cannot place there. You can. The only combat I can place into is that one. That's out of supply. That's out of supply. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can place into that one. You're out of supply down yeah, there. Yeah, huh? that's why it's on my block. Yeah, so, so. these two I can place into. That's um, it. God, that's got to be demoralizing for the troops getting... For who? The troops. The who? No, the... the <laughs> I'm saying, being out of supply and getting hammered. Yeah. I pass. And we get these back, right? Uh, yes, because this is the second turn. Right. We will get them back. 
Okay. Oh, that's a four. Yeah, yeah. It's eight coming in. We're done. Yeah. And five coming in. Dieterhofen. Uh, All two. right, we'll start with Verdun. Eight. Sure. One, two, two, three, three. You can just roll that nine down if you want, yeah. since I know what it is. True. Yeah. What'd you say? Three. That becomes the six, which it stays down because you know what it is. Yeah. Uh, and then I am, let's see, it is five to six. You get six in... Dieterhofen. Dieterhofen. That's all the dice. Show me the money. One. One. We'll take that. I like, I like when my guns actually do something. <laughs> right. And I am at five. Uh-huh. There it is. Okay, yeah. Three. Three. So, one... Can't kill him with artillery. True. Two, three. Two, three. Right, because the last block has to yep. you survive. You cannot remove a block with artillery. All right. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let us go ahead and start in Dieterhofen. Okay. I elect to press the attack. Do you wish to reinforce? You can reinforce from... Can you? Because out of supply? No, because he can only move, move no. towards so, there. That's it. And again, not being no, no, that's correct. belligerent about it. I'm just like, I'm working my way nope. through it as well. I'll so. spend a reinforce. Okay. All right, let's fight. Okay. Let's get it on. And that's five to ten. Okay. The deception was there hoping you would reinforce to weaken up here was mm -hmm. the thought process. Not saying it was valid thinking, it was just some. All right, it is 10 to five. Hitting, uh, you're hitting on fives and sixes. Got two. Two, and I am rolling 10. On sixes. On sixes only. That's one. one. And then four more. Four more. Three. I'll take it. Jeez. Oh, I'll just roll that down to a one. All right. Well, we didn't take it, but hurt him. Yeah, good job, fellas. All right. So there's that. No. No. So. Combat could be here. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few places. There, we just, there. We just did that one. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm saying there, there, there. Mm -hmm. Here. There. And that one. Ah, right, I forgot about that guy. Yeah, let's let's take care of the, the Marn. I mean... Yeah, I know, let's just kill it. Well, you should, just because it's a space I control. Yeah, so... That is 15. That's a four horse. That's a four horse. And I'm rolling two. <laughs> right, because it is out, out of, of supply. supply. So, and fives and sixes. Got one. All right. And I am rolling 15, and that's a four horse on a five and six. 15, I need an eight. 13. 13. You did. Yeah, that's gone. All right. Breakout move as well. Yep. Which, I mean, we could just... Weep. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, and the breakout. Well, that's the last combat. So the breakout now can move. So not not pushing this, not pushing this, not pushing this. Facts. Okay. Yep. Um, so this can stand up then. All right. All right. And that can stand up. Yep. And now my breakout. Oh, goodness gracious. Can move one. So headed to the front line. Yep. And I think we will split the difference... Will we? Okay. I mean, I guess he could go either way, but I think this is safer. That covers both avenues. Done. That's me. Okay, back to the top. Well, we get to refresh everything. Yeah. 
Uh, so. We should walk through aircraft damage. Okay. I know. Um, so. Okay. So aircraft damage, uh, everything just roll. Well, yeah. Go ahead. You. you yeah. Go for I mean, I was the first time it's happened. So it, it, it has. Uh, so he has a damaged marker here on damage there, but he'll he'll walk us through this. Go for it. So for every six rolled by your opponent, which Edward did. Uh, I place an air damage marker with my air squadrons, and when it comes back, it goes into the damaged air area. So this is what it looks like on his board right now, is that. Uh, returning it to the squadron board, damage markers are placed in damage air box. Reduce the value of air maintenance track by the total damage markers currently being placed. So, so that will slide down one. It should have slid down when it happened, but it slides fine. down one. And then during refresh, everything moves one space to the right, yes. including the damage marker. Yep which I believe will continue to harm me. Because this is refreshing. So this will technically... Air damage markers move one box to the right. The sum of all air damage markers that move to the available box is immediately added back to the maintenance track. So, I am damaged when it hits the air damage track. Then it'll transition to used. So next turn when it hits that, my it goes back up as the planes are getting repaired. So it basically is a time track to keep me down by one. Right. So... You, so you have an aircraft underneath the damage marker? No, the, the, the aircraft immediately goes back to available, but uh, my value is now below my total aircraft. So, uh, so one well. is unavailable, so effectively the same yeah. thing. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right, so <sighs> that, was, uh, that was fun. So I actually technically do not have that because okay. I'm now at four. Well, no, keep it on your board, maybe put it upside down. The reason being because you don't have to buy it back. Oh, that's true. I simply am going to get it back. Right. Uh, right. Well, in theory, I guess. So there, and now we go. So those are refreshed. Nothing else changes. And it's now action phase two for you, starting with dogfighting. Oh, yes. Okay. Ugh. Did I take a hit on my last? Oh, you did. Oh, thank you. Good call. Thank you, Alyssa. Good call. Those horses doing their job, slowing, right. slowing down your reinforcement block yep. by a turn. Well, I would argue... It didn't really because... It didn't because I got move. to... Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I will say that you, 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 you brought it to my attention that I left a gap in the line. Yeah, so now there's two gaps. Yeah, now there's two gaps. But they're both out of supply, so I don't care. Uh, this is for, of course. I, I assume. The yeah. contested heads. Yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, wait, this is air. Yep. Boop. A moment. Take your time. Your artillery guns cannot fly. No, they cannot. That's in the future. Deploying a C-130. Yes, <laughs> right, yes. Spooky as... Uh, um, Pass. Pass. I, li I really like the bluffing in this game, too. Yeah, it's I really, good. I really do. And because there's a couple different layers of yeah, it with yeah, the blocks yeah. and with the artillery and with the tokens for this. It's yep. good. Uh, I'll save us the, the work. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I tried. It didn't work. Um, <laughs> this is uh, my bluff. Okay. Uh, I have a one. So I would like to see the not out of supply block. Okay. And that'll come back to That's me. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, you took everything down there, and it lived <laughs> here. <laughs> so this. Did you expect that? I think this will be two on two. Yes. Okay. And so. 
Two for me, two for Jan. Ooh. Damage on an abort. Oh! Hey! <laughs> All right. So I take two damage. So two damage is good for me. That I can fight up there, but God knows I can't fight in the ground. And you take a damage. A so damage. immediately my track is reduced. Oh, so my track is reduced by but two. Two. That does matter. Okay. Uh, however, matters. you one damage and an abort. Right. So you don't get through. I don't get through. This one, in theory, comes home. Yes. With one remaining value, and then you subtract damage off of that. There you I, go. I don't get to see. Yep. Hey, the Air Force did its job. So to be clear, the now that my maintenance track is below, I still have available. I think we checked that. I was going to check that before we kept going. I believe we checked that during okay. economic maintenance. Okay. Second limit, not stacking limit, that's not what I want. Artillery and air squadron. Because I think. Yeah, air squadron is, we check it 652. Okay. So air squadron, check the air technology track to determine max value, collect up to five counters with a value some less than or equal to the track, place counters in step two and the bluffing counter. So, in theory, so I can still use mine on my turn is my point. As far as I can yeah, I tell. Think I mean, it makes sense, right? Because again, this, this is pretty procedural, so right. it doesn't tell us to check right. anywhere in here. So, and I'm showing the folks at home, that number then should allow me to use that number there, is what I'm saying. So I think so. Yeah, Let's and let's go with it. Okay, all right. So, air is done, now move. You the only have to the, move it, move it. The only thing I got to see was a deception block. <laughs> yes, that worked out really well. All right, let's, I gotta start pushing. Gotta start pushing. I will. This block's gonna split up a whole bunch. Oh, why? Oh, I don't know. Who could say? Um, question is by how much? I'm gonna split it into one of these. Gonna go one, two. Okay, we'll allow it. And I'm gonna split it into one of these, which will go one, two, which I'll just tick that up that many. And this will flip. Yep, that'll flip. Which means now I have a supply line back for all those idiots. Well, these idiots. These idiots are still yes. harmed. So, to be clear, this out-of-supply marker only goes away if you spend a logistics point Brutal. to make it go away. Brutal. And that that's my whole point in punching the line was to try and yeah. beeline it. I'm going to do that because I think I might move some troops through there that are not that piece. Okay. Um, yeah, we just got to we just got to start hustling. Um, this piece will go one two. This piece will go one. Do I want to move it to the fortress? Pew pew. Yeah, you'll get your guns. Yeah, cripes. Is this, the, oh goodness, I just did it. Which piece did I only move one? This that one? one. Yes. This one? Okay. Yes. Um, geez. Geez, Kyle, geez. This is so good. I really like this game a I do. lot. I do too. Yeah. Um, I think he'll go one, two, flip oh, that back. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. This one will be done. Yep. Moving on from it. Okay. Um, this one will go. One, two, and I'll just combine some blocks up at the end of that movement. Okay. This one will go one, two. Flip that back, mm -hmm. which I'll clean those up at some point. Okay. Now, basically, I have, I split these all up, and I'm happy with those. I have this here, and then these in here, my big uh, reinforcement blocks, which have some work to do. Um... I will. I'm about to move in there anyway, yeah, so okay. give me a second. Uh, he'll go one, and then is going to break up. You know, okay. you know that that's a twenty. I do. Um, in fact, know that's a twenty. I will 
send there. Oh, those were both ones. We already knew that. Uh, and send there to flip. I didn't see it. I yeah, legitimately fine. didn't. It's fine. Uh, to flip that back. I've already taken... You never touched Liege. I have not reached that. Okay, so this block is going to split. Okay. We're going to go one, two, and I'm actually going to do that slightly differently. But I promise you, if you don't uh, protect it, I will next turn. Interesting. Interesting you would say that. Uh, I will send those to there and... Those to there, and then that, that comes back. off. Okay. Well, that is no the. Okay. This is this is all that's left to move. I already moved something in here, so there's one less point to deal with in there. Um, I'm not going to move those anyway. These. They can move one. Yeah, this way, which. Yes. Which again, I mean, we're 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 saying there or there for that one, and this one is that one or that one, right? Yeah. Which. They still would be out of supply. That's fine. Uh, yeah, they will carry that with them. Correct. He'll go there. Yep. He'll go there. These will both flip. This will flip, so now everyone at least has the potential to be back in supply. Uh, yes. Which the line is now like this. Yep. I, lo I love the story this is telling about how this is all moving. Oh, yeah. I, the, so I've, the, the, the emergent narrative of games of up here, the Belgian yeah. resistance up yeah. here, frustrated it happened to me. It was so good. Yeah, I and know, then, right? And yeah. then the fight over here, the triple ones that I yes. rolled on what should have just been a, a, an avalanche. Yes. Oh, God. Duds. Okay. I believe that's it for my movement. Okay. That is remaining there. Uh, Art artillery. Oh, uh, yes. Which we have everything back now. I also pass. Okay. There she is. Go for it. Why don't you start with that one? Uh, I'm not spending the logistics points. So it's just, oh, because there's no... There's no fort, yeah. so just so, normal artillery. Four uh, dice, fives and sixes. Yep. That appears to be three. Sure does. Um, I can't so kill it, I can't. but I, it had more than that anyway. It did, so there you go. Cool. All right, now down here. I assume this might be a deception block. No, you send it in there. So you're sending what, eight at me? Eight. And I'm sending five back at you. Okay, go ahead. Hit me with your five. Sixes. Nope. Nay. Nah. And I am on fives and sixes. Fives and sixes. And I'm hitting eight. Wait, I could have not have sent artillery here. It's out of supply. I also could not have sent artillery here. It's out of supply. Okay, let's just start all that over. Shit. No, no big deal. Uh, no, 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 no. I could have caught it too. So let's start it all over. Yeah, we didn't. I will, I will take this back up. Yeah, when we didn't, uh, our pre-play, we never got around out of supply. Right. So, so let's start it over. My bad. All right. Good catch. So That's the only, the okay. only place I could, places I could deploy artillery are here, and here. This is out of supply. For you. For me. I still can, yeah. though. And yes. here, I have okay. a supply. Okay. So, I mean. Hmm. Which, they're still going to be out of supply when you go, so. Yep. Might as well get some shots in. Ah. 
out of supply is hard. That is one of the most brutal things in this game. That's my. That was my. That was the one thing that Kurt in, stressed. Do or, not get. Or, yeah. Do not. Well, get no, no. Supply. He was that. I sh like you should be using as the French cavalry to harass the. Yeah. If you get a breakthrough, go punish them. Yeah. If they are not protecting their lines, and that's that's exactly. I pass. Uh, okay, I'll put one there, and then I'll pass. All right. So that'll be five. Yep. This will be a deception, and then three, two, plus my fort. And that is just presumably still eight coming in. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, I mean, I'm trying to keep it no, I, that's, historically accurate. It's what I would do. If you, if you let that go... I'm out of supply right now. It's the weakest I'm going to be there. I'm only going to get stronger. Then. I'm going so, to pound the hell out of exactly. that. Exactly. So okay. we'll start up here with my five again. Not spending any point. No worth. Not. No point. One hit. Okay. Done. Okay. That's <laughs> that's what I thought. Right. <laughs> it, it, so what I'm what I'm telling him by not taking the hit is that blocks a one. Yeah. Which I cannot kill a block with artillery. It's a right. one. It's a one horse. But the important thing is. I, you ha I, I had you waste Big yep. Bertha, which is glorious. So here, uh, I'm rolling two plus one on Three, fives, um, fives and sixes. And sixes. One. one. Okay, I'll take the one in a minute, and I'm hitting three on, on sixes. sixes. Yep. Got one. one. Okay. Uh, I have to replace that with another block. And then you get to roll your eight. Fives yeah. and sixes. Yep. One. Yeah. Come on. Two. Two. And it was eight because of the four plus the four of the fortress. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, if you attack. Half dice for out of supply. Half for out of supply. Everybody else is just straight normal. Yep. Uh, we will start here. Okay. Well, you have an option. Uh, I could bug out. Or right. reinforce. Interesting. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll some number of ones anyway. So. Yeah, but the question is, do I want it to die? Is it worth the logistics point to save it temporarily? I'm gonna chase you. I get my breakout. Even if if you run here, I'll chase you. I'm assuming these are both sub two horses. I'll chase you regardless of where you go. I know that. No, I'm not going to. Okay. All right. So laying down. Yep. It's an eight for me and a one for you. Eight to one. Eight All right. to one. So my horsey will snicker and maybe nip at your heels a little on fives and sixes. Nope. Great. Could I snag two? Oh. I don't want to get blamed. I mean, my guys have done better against me I'm, than you have. I, the blue dice are great. Yeah. Again. The only hits. That's so gross. That's so funny. I love it. I honestly do. Uh, that'll flip. We'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, that's my six. Okay. Um, so I'm rolling half rounded down. So I'll be rolling that many. God, that sucks. Okay. Um, you can always come back to it. Like you yeah, just, I'll, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue right? to think about that. I not so gonna not gonna press here. There, 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 and yeah. there. I think that's it. I'll right? push this one. I'll, I'll kick you okay. out of here. Sixteen to nine. Sixteen to nine. And you were hitting on fives and sixes with a sixteen. Yep. You would need a sixteen or higher. Well, I'm hoping for a six or higher. All right, come on. There you go. Uh, not bad. Eight, some number. Fives and sixes at least is always good. For 16, 8 is 4 hits. 4 hits. I'm rolling 9. I'll go ahead and use those 3. Oh, are you sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He's, he's digging down now. He's... Oh, my God. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4 hits at least. And you hit me for 3? Yeah, I hit you for 3. Right. So that drops it to a 6. No, I hit you for 4. 4? Four? 4. Okay, so to a 5. Yeah. And you're at what? I'm 12? at 12. Okay. Oh, my gosh. 
Dice luck, man. Dice luck, dice luck, dice luck. Uh, I will continue to press it down here. Uh, this one? Yep. All right, so I roll... Half rounded down, specifically. Half rounded down, or I could bug out. JT, I won't tell. Secrets, secrets safe with us. Um... If I, okay, so if I were to bug out to here, he stays out of supply unless I use the... The point, yep. The point. Yeah, just because you can retrace that supply line, you have to actively resupply them. They don't just count as being good. So my question is, is that more important than a logistics point? No, it's not, to answer my question. So... Fight. Fighting. I am sending 11. Okay, go ahead. To your one half rounded down nothing. Correct. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God bless. <laughs> all right, well, um, so it is 11. So I'm gonna zero. roll all of these plus these. So that's two. And six. you're hitting on. Fives and sixes. This would be epic. No, I got it. Okay. Including two from your, two from me. I'm bringing my own next time when we play 15 and 16. I'm bringing my own T6s. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just knock yourself out. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. Get a breakout move there. Yeah. Sure do. Okay. Final combat's up here. I will not. I will not be pushing Verdun. Okay. I. Right, they're out of supply. There's. There's no point. That seems like a bad idea for you. To push it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one I will push, though. I know I'm rolling half, but... No. Oh, okay. Forcing yeah. the combat. Go for it. 15. So I'm going to roll 7. 3. I'm rolling 3. 3. Could I snag one die, please? You pick. You pick. I'm not even going to look. I'm not even going to look. Three. Got it. And I would like to point out, I think you've hit on almost every one I, of my dice. You know, depending on how many drinks I have later to forget about how bad my die rolling is. Oh my god. <laughs> I might go back and watch this back and do a little curve for both of our sets of die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, hey. This is the ones that... Get out I mean, of there. I mean... Get out of there. I'm just saying. They, they, they fought the good fight. Okay. This is now out of supply. Uh, I am. It is. And I don't think I place a breakout move unless I want to move back because... Yeah, like, I, I mean... I, I, want, I want to hold here because this is a VP space for me. So sure. I'm just going to hang out. And that's all the combat. I'm not pushing for done. I okay. have two breakout moves. You do. Uh, this one I will absolutely push this way. Um, Ooh, mm, I will push some of the strength that way. Okay. I'm going to stand that back up. Uh, I will push specifically a number. Kyle's heart clearly not into being the central powers and it's manifesting through the black dice. <sighs> I, I, son, son of an American veteran over here. I'm just, I'm too patriotic, you I know, hear you. simply too patriotic. And, and here's how we decide. Uh, no, no kidding. Here's how we decide who is what side. The board faces me. Yep. The end, because the cameras face this side. That's it. If it had been the reverse, I would have been the central power. So. All right. All right, so... That is a newly contested hex, so is. breakout move flips to breakout combat. Yes. Yeah, hold on. Breakout move Ooh, first. Ooh, yes. Okay. Well, ha, I could do a dumb thing, or I could do a smart thing. I'm going to stand those up. Um, I'm going to move... Total is that much. I'm going to move... That to there. Okay. And that one will stay. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah. We'll stay with it. Okay. Um, breakout combat. Okay. Uh, so uh, bringing that up. Is it there or? No, it's further up. A little further up. There we go. Yeah. That works. All right. Uh, I am rolling zero dice. Yeah, it's a one horse. I am rolling six dice. Okay. Uh, that is all my dice. Fives and sixes. <sighs> Got it. One. 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 Never, never asked by how much, simply that it was done. I've already broken out, so I don't believe I get to break out. You do not get chaining okay. breakouts. As cool as that would be, as powerful as that would be. <sighs> you know, I want to just double check that. Like, let me Ch see. Chaining uh, breakouts? The, the, the reason I'm asking is because the Dutch supplied with, uh, both sides with so much dope that I could see a case being made. Huh? Get, get some of the good chocolate, the math chocolate. It, it really was. Mm -hmm. math. It, yeah. Straight up. Um, or Coke. It, anyway. Um, so let's see, breakout combat. No, uh, if a block ends in a breakout rate, no further breakout move is allowed after this combat. Yep. So. All right. I pushed the line. I've I've repelled you and reestablished my lines for the right. most part. I'll let you talk. I couldn't leave while you were doing that, so I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone can watch me wallow. <laughs> <sighs> it's tough. It's. I've never won to blame dice. I've rolled enough dice. It's too funny, and I've had them go so well for me. I was too slow up here. I needed to complete my Belgian attack before the first strategic reorientation so I could push everybody down here. I had to keep numbers up here and I thought I could get it done on that second action by, oh, okay, I'll, you know, I'll leave 12 up there, whatever. Uh, too slow. In our pre-play, obviously I started a little bit in Belgium because we were playing the practice scenario, but I blitzed through it and I had pushed all the way basically to Dunkirk and Calais. Between us, I'm not planning on doing that this time. My plan this time was to hammer down and just leave the Brits behind me. Maybe leave a token force to hold the victory point spots, but I was just going to rush. If it had gone the same way. It did not. And I'm, I'm broke on logistics points. Fortunately, I'm going to get 12 economic points. I'm going to be able to solve my resupply problem. But... Damn. <laughs> to you. All right. So. <sighs> Planes. Yeah, I know. I just, I really need to. Is there, I think. One thing. Um. Well, I'm not going to be able to end the game at the end of round two. No, I pushed you back enough. Well, I mean, you could... I don't have enough strength down south. Yeah. To uh, I can't get both of those, is the point. Because it's whether or not you have no control markers in France. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, currently I have one, two, three, four, five, six, which I don't even think is denying you a point. It's not... Um, we still have another turn. No, one more turn. But, mm -hmm. which is two actions each. But, uh, I don't know. Dude, planes first. And then. All right. So I have these that are still usable. All right. I have, I got one. I'm I'm good. For, I'm good for now. Okay. Because I I'm just following you again. Our understanding yes. is that I'm I'm sending planes to go knock out your recon, and I'm I'm good for now. It's still good. You just saw that one. I have the memory of a goldfish. Clearly. Um, well, I'll let you have it with my one plane.
JT, you know, maybe a different person, maybe a different uh, opportunity. I still wouldn't. I don't know. I, I hold very strongly. Very, very strongly in fair play. Yeah. I love I the. I, I, I want to win because I won. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big. I, I, got, I, I got no problem losing. Obviously, I mean, I wouldn't be sitting. I don't think I'd be sitting in this chair if I was a different kind of person, but. Uh, big fan of the magic circle of games and competing and. Sometimes it just simply doesn't go. So that's one to one. That is one to one. So okay. you are either of these a zero? They are not. Okay, so you can see that one, that's a five, and you can see that one, that's a 12. Okay, again, memory of a gnat. Yep. There you go. And this is a one to one. Yep. Okay, so those are all used. Okay, and so the one to one is all, we, all that matters. Yep. Damn. Come on. Yes. So right. I send him packing. It's just an abort, no damage. So I don't get to see what that is. You do is, not get to see what it but is, but it is we'll out of leave supply. It there. Yeah. Huge. Oh. Really? Okay. Huh. Well, because, you know, I had my big 20 block stomping down there. Sure among other things. What, the one that didn't move way behind lines? I wonder, what, I wonder, I wonder what it is. How many reinforcements do I get? In, oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. That's that's the win there. That's the big boy. That's fifteen. Oops. That'll go there. That rotated a little bit. It did. I, I know what it was. Okay, good. Okay. Um. I really got to combine up some blocks. I'm very bad at the block management. <laughs> Well, I guess it's also part of the deception of the game. Right. I'll condense down yeah, yeah, yeah. afterwards, so that'll go there. It's all soup until the end of the phase, yeah. and then you crystallize into your... And then... One, two... Are all the horses dead? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, that'll go... One... Two. Yes. Right, this is the last one I don't need to worry about protecting myself. That's the nice thing about not having initiative is like I know that like I can leave a gap here and it's okay. Yeah, you will 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 oh, strategic strategically reinforcements right. and yeah. then and then get your reinforcements in the door. Right. So Yeah. I've never see I've never experienced that. I've only ever had initiative. I know. Which I think is still good. It gives you the last say, but there, there. The idea of giving you up there. a double turn right now seems painful. Uh, I'm hoping. Um, I 
the problem here? It's me. Hi. I'm, it's just a Taylor Swift reference. It's fine. I, I got it. I got it. Uh, golly. I'm not going to be able to kill that. Is, oh, no, hold on. They do have artillery, so hold on. Okay. There is that. If I get lucky on the artillery, always good to hope for that. I can't do that. Never mind. Bunch up here. I need to clean so up. this one moved already. These have yeah. The one not. the one at the tip yeah, towards yeah. me. So here, those will go there. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, well, if that's the case, three. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. The other question is, yeah. that has not moved, and those have not moved. Yeah, let's do it. So that'll come in, and Wonder these, you... these will go... Wait, I think one of them, damn it, I think one of them came from here. One of them did. I don't know which one, I don't remember. My guess is probably this one. I, so if that's the case. I'm, I'm good with that, I trust you. That'll go. Do we think he's one, going two, to three. repel me? <laughs> Do we think he's going to repel the siege and of Verdun? There. I think that's it. You're going to need to consolidate. Um, I, yeah, I, I will. And, oh, and there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, that's a big number now. <laughs> uh, you might not. Can you consolidate down to four? No, sorry, sorry. Can you consolidate it down to three? There we go. Problem solved. Yeah. Um, and then there, yeah, this I can do. Yeah. Me medium numbers in that All spot. All right. Medium numbers in that spot. Okay. That's me. Yep. That's a me, a Mario. It's a me. Okay. Artillery, eh? Artillery time. I cannot add any artillery to Verdun, but I can go everywhere else, and I will go there. Alright, turn three is going to be a... I'm out of tokens. And I'm not going to bother. Alright. So, we got three to three. Okay. Fives and, uh, fives and sixes. Yeah, fives and sixes. Nothing. Nice. One. One. I'll take it. That goes down to a four. Um, all right. Then let's see. I have... Oh, you know what? If you'll allow me a... You, didn't, I, move, you didn't move the Brits. Yeah, I yeah, forgot I about them up there. Um, if you would... This one. Well, hold on. Let me think. You could leave them there. There's juicy points for me over there. There are. And now that I've managed this problem. Let me break that. Okay. Down. So breaking this one no, down? here. Okay. No. Oh, you can got it. You, you stand up and do it. That's all right. There. Oh, there's some horses up there. No, there's not. Shouldn't be. That'll go there. Yep, makes sense. I'll keep that. And... While you think, I'm going to start counting out our EPs, because it's quite a few next turn. That'll move there, and that'll move there. 
I think. Yeah, that'll work. Done. Okay. So now, ar artillery. Yes. So working on this. We're done. Gets four shots. Four shots. Go ahead. Fives and sixes. Two. Two. Okay. Uh. Nope, you're attacked. Oh, yeah. You're, I get to roll yeah, one. You get, oh, oh. I'll fix that later. It's, it's caught up that. There we go. Got okay. It. Good. Nah. Nope. There. No. No. And then we That's already it. did this one, so we're good. Yeah. Okay. Because um, there's no other contested forts yet. Let's go there. Okay. Fight. So. Ah, come on. There we go. That one. So that's going to be 10. Down to four. four. My four. Two. Oh. Two. That hurt me. Yes. And I lost how many? Uh, Ten to four. You was it two? Or it was either two or three. How many was that? Two or three? Did I roll two or three? That's big numbers are cool. Right. <laughs> so small numbers yeah. are high. So three. Assuming that was two. Yeah. And then if it's not, we'll yeah. Took down I'll, one I'll, more. Yeah. So there. That hurt. Yes. So that battle's done. Butimus. Then, where else would you like to press combat? Hi, Jess. Hi, Jess. All right. So we will. Let's bring it down just there. Right there. Here. Pushing that? Yep. Right. Do you want to reinforce or bug out or anything? I do not. Okay. I have six. I have 15. 15. Five and sixes. Two. Two. I'm going to okay. hold it up. I'm going to hold it up with my fingers. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so fives and sixes on 15. And you have how many? Six. I need a 13. Mm -hmm. It's doable. It was two, by the way. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Nope, that is not, in fact, a 13. That is a nine. Yes. On 15 is only four. Oh. Hold the line. Yeah. And you take two. All right, so I'll just go ahead and drop that. That really hurts, the fact that... All right, we're done time. Yes. I have no LPs. I have to stay. <laughs> this is going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt me. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Um, here, I want to see what I... What... You've whittled me down. I have nine total. Oh. You have whittled me down. I have a chance. Because I, I laid the siege to tie up the blocks, and no one's pushed. So, And I was hoping to have an LP to either reinforce or run. And uh, That's 30 to nine. 30 to nine. So 30, I need a nine, to be clear. That's, I seems likely. Uh, I'll take three. From, could I grab three? Oh, roll mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> have been way too good on me. One, two, and then I'll roll three more. Uh-huh. No, I'm only hitting on sixes, so that was only one. Hold on, and you're out of supply, so you're only rolling five dice. Let's just go over again. Okay. Give me five. Five dice on sixes. No, it's half rounded down. Four dice on sixes. Yes. Got one. one. Let's go. Okay, and I'm rolling three. 
for th that represents 30. Yep. Nine. That was, that was that was say. 30, that's nine. That's exactly it. Yep. And I lose one. There's the damn bursting. And it's all right. That. All right. All right. Breakout move. Yep. I don't believe there's any more combat anywhere. So. No, that, uh, no, no. No. I'm, ah, uh, yeah, because we've already done this we've one. We've already, yeah. everything over here, which in. We're going to just go ahead and you, press straight ahead. Did you ahead. press here? I did not. I elect not to. Okay, so made the choice. I'll stand that guy back up. You're welcome to stand them up if you want to. No, it's okay. Okay. Um. I'm rolling two dice. And unfortunately, I don't get to press, but... Crack troops, fives and sixes. No. And rolling three. It's enough. I don't know what oh, it no, is. Oh, no, it's... Whatever it is, it's enough. Twelve on twenty-nine. It's eleven. Yeah, I, I had four, so... Flip that. This was breakout combat. Yep. We'll take that back over here. Okay. Okay. That it? Yeah, that's all I can do. All right. Damn it! All right. The the problem here is I think I'm only getting one. I, point. I pushed you back enough, and you couldn't take. Yeah, I need it. I yeah. The no. issue is is I'm I, I'm getting one point because I took that this round. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm getting a couple more. Two. Yes. Good. And I'm getting one. Catching up. Yeah, it's five to so, four. Oh, it'll be close. Okay, anyway, let's go through it. So, strategic reorganization. Well, we gotta re well, we have to refresh our air and everything. Our damage markers will move. Oh, okay, right. So, so, I have one that's going to hit available and come off, which will increase my track by one. Okay. And then one will move to used. Okay, so the one that moves to used, it doesn't affect, I have... It's still holding your track down by one. Right. Which we'll get to the... No, holding it down by two. Oh, yeah, you have two. Holding it down by two. So that's what's available. Now, if I push that back up, I still have these available. Yeah. So I... Which we technically don't do now. We do it when we get yeah, to... But we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, get right. there. Right. The, the principle remains. Yep. I got you. Now we go to strategic reorg, which is... <sighs> yeah. Same time. Um, so you're out of... Here, for simplicity's sake, you're out of supplies are going to leave. I have, well, I have to pay for them still. Oh, you do? I do. That's the thing. Just because I've reconnected doesn't mean, I have to actively send those troops new supplies. They've eaten their boots. They have nothing. I have to send them extra supplies to make up for it. So I've already counted out our EPs. I have to spend one, two, three EPs to bring those back in should I choose to do so. Because you can't, those are out of supply, so therefore you can't, I can't reorganize them I don't, be, ooh, I don't believe I can. I, yeah, um... Uh, let's take a look. 8.0. Yep. Strategic reorg. A block, a block must be in supply to participate. Yeah. And I can add other blocks to these places, but these are going to carry that, that's going to carry that, and that's going to carry that. Okay. So, all right. Reorg time. All right. Oh, God. Which, remember, you can move things to hex where they are not. But if it's contested, you have to leave... A block. One. Just contested, not necessarily just front line. Contested. I believe. No, sorry. It's just, it is front line. So, All that's, right, that's so why these tokens are actually really quite important. Okay, so the front line... It's anything with your symbol in it is currently the front line, which we should probably verify is good, but I yeah. th we've done pretty good. You've pushed in here. I've pushed you back. I'm still holding on to these because you haven't bipped out with somebody to take them back. So right. this is my front line. Your front line has a little extension up here and a little extension up here. Okay. Okay. Which, during this time, we can recombine blocks and do different things. Yeah, see, even even still, this is frustrated because these are front line. I have to leave one in there. Mm -hmm. Oop. Okay. 
oh wow, that's really, these being out of supply is so hard. That's tying up quite a bit of my force up here. And I just can't shift them around until I have the opportunity to pay, which I will. <sighs> okay. And even, again, the, the, the emergent visual narrative as well. I have this huge front. First army, second army, third army. <laughs> oh, man. And I'll still get an opportunity to play, yep. play around a little bit at the end of it. Yep. good until you're done. Okay. I'll just, you know, I'll just get the blocks for my reinforcements that are coming in. You know, it's so many blocks.
Hmm. Uh, no. Sorry. I think I need to change that. I'm on your time, so. I got you. Yep. That won't work. And then that will go. Yeah, that's better. I think that would be foolish. Leave that like that. So that was, yeah, okay. So I have those. That will be. I like that. I think that's it. Let me give it a once over and I think Alyssa. Have a good one, Alyssa. Hmm. Yeah, done. I feel like it doesn't feel great, but... All right, so now I can, I can fill around a little bit. Yeah. That... Don't be scared. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just making sure my fortresses have troops, so. I. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna, I will, I have more things to do. Um. It's a little, I've, I actually. Do what you need to do. I mean, I don't. No, just, no, just that. I might as well put, like, there's no reason to leave them out there. There's none. Yeah. So, okay. Done. I'm, I'm good. Okay. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Score. Whew. So, you are, you took I that took, one. So, I already had these, so I don't get you the don't points. You don't get them again. You get that. Took Antwerp. I get. I also took, I can't read what that one is. Uh. My bouge? Sure. And I get that one. <laughs> and I'm getting two. Two. To six. Four to six. It's close. It is. I didn't look like it was going to be close about an hour ago. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. I, bad dice. Bad. Oh, no. Amazing Belgian resistance. Uh, Thank you very much. Bad dice. Um, and it's not even that I undercommitted, man. I was over a dozen the whole time and it took me one extra action that it should have which I needed to, as I said when you were off one time I needed that to happen early so I could strategically reorganize out of there and it yeah. simply did not so no brave Belgian defense the real <laughs> heroes right here that's why that's why they get a, a spot of honor so all right uh we are done with reorg so advanced term marker where are we we're here here we go and advance the U.S. We doing okay? 
Well, yeah. So I no, we we're good. Okay. I said to, I said to my wife, yeah, we should be done maybe around like three thirty four, unless something goes disastrously wrong. And as when you were finishing up, I texted her and said something has gone disastrously <laughs> wrong. To be clear, I told I told I told Jess, no, it shouldn't be a long day at all today. I <laughs> oh, for you, it's a fine if it's a long day for me. No, I, I I get that, I get that. But see, when we're done here, what you're missing is I have to run home for dinner and then come back because I have to set up. Mr. President, Mr. President, to get it all ready to stream the setup on yep. Sunday. So, I'm not not complaining, mind you. I just just it, it, things are looking up though for the central powers. The the central I don't powers. Think they no, are. The, no, the central powers' wife made apple cake because we went apple picking yesterday. Oh, so. excellent! Oh, I we're. <laughs> Wow. And we're going to go tailgate some high school football for fun. So, That's you know, awesome. it's fun. By the way, so the Wakefield High School team here won state last year. Really? Yeah, like they're legit, like good. I, I, it's like 3A or whatever it is, but yeah. I, the, 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 I don't live near Malden Catholic. I live near Malden. Okay. They're not doing well, but we're going to go tailgate their game tonight because it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, <laughs> awesome. I appreciate that. And our, um, our oldest boy, who's in eighth grade, is actually a part of the high school band. Yes, we love the band. And so, like, yeah, it gives us an excuse to go Play, to the games. Plays what? Uh, percussion. And, like, a lot of very... He plays piano. He, awesome. Dude's got skills. Hell yeah. He, he's really good. I, uh, he really is enjoying it. I played the trombone. So. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, and so in, in, uh, he's in junior high, but he's, he's in the percussion, so the marching band. Mm -hmm. And it's a... Our band apparently is a real thing, like really good. Oh yeah, and they go everywhere and do everything. And my yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm I, volunteering to help drive the instrument, uh, you know, the U-Haul around the Northeast. Oh yeah, so yeah. Oh, that's the best. I love. I played football and I was in the band. I went to very small school. I got to perform at halftime while I was also playing football. One time, my senior year is pretty funny. That was cool. That's um, awesome. All right, let's see. All right, so resolve the Eastern Front. You get one less. I, I've already taken it out. I'm going to okay, get 11 good. when we get there. Economic maintenance, everything drops one. <laughs> oh, with the damage in the air track, that is um. That That is a small number all of a sudden. Uh, manpower deployment. We are around turn three. I get 20 and 18, respectively. You get 50. The British, the British are showing up for you. They are. 20 and 18. And I get 50. That is a big, scary number. To be fair, this is the peak of the curve. It, obviously, this is the last turn we're playing, but um, if uh, if we kept going, I'd be going back down to 40, 35, 30, 10, and then I get nothing in the last two turns. As it should be. Well, I would get whatever's left over from fighting on the Eastern Front, but uh, yeah. it's... I'm really interested to engage with this. I hope, oh, I, I am too. I, I, hope, like, I hope people are interested to see it, more. It sounds cause... like some of y'all were definitely into the idea. I, I don't know that we need to do the whole game. I That? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I don't know that we need to do I don't that. know if I have that much PTO left at work. Yeah, uh, I don't know. But, I mean, even to play this and to... I'm not not an immediate thing. I'm interested. Yeah. If people are interested, I'm interested. Yeah, like because this is a cool mechanism. Right? We draw red cubes out of the bag. I, I'm I'm abstractly fighting the Eastern Front. Maybe they win a major victory, and if that happens three times, I just lose. Yep. But I have to manage it with a separate kind of troop pool over here, and then when the Russian Revolution happens, I get those deployed. whatever that is. Come so on. if I manage it well, because I get no reinforcements, turns eight and nine. I could, oh, here's a 20 troop that I can just deploy. Right. It's pretty sweet. Yes. So, all right. All right, economic points. Uh, I am at 8. You are at 12. Yeah, here's your... Well, 11. 11, because of... Oh, uh, God, I don't even know what to do with that. That is amazing. You know, I, I won't lie to you. I did not know that this became 18 on turn 3. <laughs> I didn't, <either. laughs> I, didn't I didn't even look at that. It goes to 30 and then to 40 in rounds 4 and 5. Yeah, the Brits enter the war. Yeah. Which, part of the reason why I wanted to hammer the... Uh, we're doing a little round tail right now. We're about to get in the last yeah, turn. Yeah. This depletes that. Uh-huh. So, I was really... The, when it's the first, it's four and six. If I could get rid of them, then that's not... And, I, yeah, it's more a mosquito bite. Yeah. It's a big-ass mosquito now. And now. Now that we're at naval warfare, I don't see a point to do unrestricted because it will add another one of your cubes to the bag. Yeah. I don't feel like depleting 18 to maybe 17 is going to do me any good. That's fair. So That's, prize okay. regulations where 
we're tactically going to play nice with the big British block. That's right. <laughs> So I'm still drawing three. Everything else is the same. Right. You're just not adding one. Yep. And I'm not going to be rolling on the USW table. So hopefully I get some. Hopefully it's not all you. I hope it's all me. All right. Three at once. My hand's too big for the bag. It's all you. And four. Four. So I go from you 11 to, to seven. seven. Oh, that's better. Ah, that's tough. There we go. All right. So uh, spend economic points. Okay. I've one, two, one, two. Taking that. Taking that. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Right, so what, where am I? Let's see. Don't have to count this, right? And don't have to count England. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, because I spread out a little. Let me count them again. Okay. You're at 16. I'm at 15. Yep. Yeah. So I did that. the trench warfare too so interesting yeah it slows down the breakout moves you get huge defensive bonuses not to interrupt your train of thought no you're fine oh this also goes up one it's not going to matter but it does go up one more No. There. There. And then, no, that'll go there and instead do that. And then this will go there. Yeah. I don't want to go now. I would have been fine if you had. <laughs> so that's I, why I actually I, no. The thing is, I want last licks, and I don't want you to react to what I have planned. So I've spent all eight of mine. By the way, yes, I spent all of mine as well. Carrying forward. I don't know what the hell that is. That's weird. All right. Okay. Here we go. Last two offensives of the game. Allocating supply. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 spaces that matter. 
I will not supply this space. I'm at 13. I will not supply this space. It's already out of supply. I know. This is fun for me. I will not supply this space. And I will not supply this space. Okay. That's good information. Uh, I'm within, so yeah. we're good. Yeah. I just start so low. It's you gotta. It's tough to keep up with. Interesting. So that's yeah. The suit. Well, plus the other thing here, and, and a reason I think the full game would be really interesting. You have to plan for the whole thing. <laughs> well, and you have to technology advancements. I, we are completely ignoring those. I put one into poison gas, because if things had gone better, I could have gotten poison gas right now for chlorine to be hitting on fours. Oh my. I put one in on the first turn, but then everything went pear-shaped. Right. So I bet one on the chlorine gas track. I'm not gonna get there. But I was pl if, if I had one floating every turn, didn't have to waste it on out of supply. Didn't right. have to waste it on bumping tracks. That's smart. But I'm just saying, like, tanks, pretty massive. When this happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so like investing early, that's why I think playing the whole thing is really compelling. But yeah, it's... I, I, I digress. All right. Um, Aerial dogfighting and recon. Yep. It is your honor. Now, to be clear. This is all we get. Is right. This is it. Okay. I will put one here. I'll put one further south. Here? Yep. Put one here. I pass. I will also pass. Okay. They're so, both one to ones, I so assume. This is free. I get to look at this. Yep. It's a oneer. Yep. Saw that coming. Um, well, actually, I didn't see that coming. I didn't know how much you were going to stick up for that. Uh, this is also a zero one. Oh, oh, so I... You get nothing happens. Okay. I, ba I baited one of your ones up. Okay, well done. Because reconnaissance only goes for the active player. Right, that he, is true. He rolls against nothing. His planes were in defense mode, not right. taking pictures mode. Right. So we're one for one. Okay. Doesn't matter what I do, does it? If you roll an abort or a damage... Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, my, my... Nothing. nothing. So... Okay. I get to see one of them. I'll take the one to your oh, your right. left. Okay, my left. Hold on. <sighs> okay. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> scared? No, not scared. <laughs> to be to be expected. You abandoned the northern line. All this strength. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't too much up here, but in here, you it had to go somewhere. There it is. Well, no, some of not, it. Not all of it. Not all of it, but some of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, blocks. Two. Two. That was 50. That was 50. That is the march. That is. All right. So, ignoring those, now yes. anything else. Uh, all right. Are y'all enjoying this at home? And I appreciate those that have hung out and, and been able to do yeah. so. Thank you for being here. Uh, whew, all right. This one can only move that way. This specific. Here, you know what? Piece. Let's do this. There you go. I added that. Yep, 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 yep. And that one's in supply, so you're good to go. Yeah, and then same down here. Okay. And I'll just swap that. Yeah, sure. Consistency's cool. Uh, okay. I will go one, two. So that'll flip. That'll get that. Uh, I will mm. I think I'll just go one, two. I don't even know if I need to bother. These are I, they're nothing for you. That's like your front. It would remove you having a front line there, which would be useful. But we're not going to get strategic. Strategic reorg won't matter. Right. So yeah, I don't it matters for me at the it. end of the game if I can keep a front line hex. I, I mean, can reorg into it. Yeah, it behooves you to just if you're trying to push forward. To yeah, push. to just and, and again, it's a learning game in a sense that like yeah, but I mean, 
if that that being the case, instead of that going one two there, I'm going to go one two one two. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little combination block. Sure. So so that these, will actually slide to there. Yeah, that'll slide to there. That'll and go. That'll go there. That'll sure. go there. Which which means those two go. It really away. looks like that. Yep. There Great. you go. Okay. Uh, so that's that. They, by the way, um, and I'm worried that we're going to forget to talk about some of this stuff. So that's why I keep bringing this up. Once you did oh, the other earlier mm -hmm. was. The fact that this marks the front line, but also where if you have blocks there, they have to stay. I think that's a clever little yeah. way to do that, as well as the the narrative that this is telling. So yeah. Okay, um, I moved up here. This this fella and this fella will both move into this spot, and I will combine up. Okay. So that'll go away. That will flip. This yep. will flip. These can go now. Yep. That's really what I want to do with this one. I need to take territory. So I could just... I mean, you could take all this back here. I sure could, you know? <laughs> uh, this is great for you. It's oh cool. Oh, boy, is it. It's cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send... <laughs> I'm going to break this down like this. Tell a little story straight out the book, gangster category. That'll go there, that'll go there. I'm going to send these two together. Holding hands, One, skipping. One, two. Later hose in, et cetera. Yeah. Uh, that'll flip that and push one that way. Uh, and then this little piggy will go to market. Okay. Uh, just as a reminder, it's 8, 11, and 14, the breakdowns for hexes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, you are currently at the two-point mark. Yeah, I'm holding, I'm denying you a point, which game's tight, maybe it'll matter. Um, right. I am glad to hear folks are enjoying this. Good. These fellows have already moved. Those fellows have already moved. This guy can't move. This guy can move. He will, in fact. He will simply come squat on. Squat on. It's a point. So uh, you, uh, yeah, that's a recurring one for yeah, you too. I need, I need that guy there. Um, you know. Yeah. No, that's fine. Okay. So, basically, all this good. As I'm going here, I think I'm actually probably good there. for it? Do we just full send it? Good. Okay, I'm going to break this block down. Oh, do I want to risk that? Yeah, I do. I'm going to break this block down into this and another block of value, which I will grab. And they're going to go one, two, Mm -hmm. Because this is friendly, control, uh, friendly contested, but friendly, so I can shift along the line. Um, this will go one, two. Mm -hmm. Is that a level one fortress or four? Four. four. Okay. If that helps. All five of these. Well, I can't look at that. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. Uh, I did glance Sorry. at it, but honestly, no, no. at this distance, it, yeah, I can't it, read it, I can't It's read actually the hard to. I can't read the numbers. I have it shrunk down. Yeah. Um, these five mm -hmm. are all going into that spot. Okay, and then they'll condense down. But yeah, that's so okay, let, me so just, let me just get a total because I'll get basically one block that is. It's many blocks, few blocks as I so need. So all of these are down here. Oh yes, which as I move them, I collapse them up into this and this. You want to take all those off for me, or just slide them out of the way, and I'll pick them up in a second. And it becomes that. Why not? 
So those are down in that spot. Uh, yeah, those are here. That's me. That's my moves. Okay. So let's see. There is potential combat there, there. And then these two. Those two, and that's it. Yep. Okay. Interesting. All right. Artie. Uh, yeah, I didn't see the other one there. Um, no, these are now in supply. My only out of supply problems are kind of up here. And it's going to get worse because yeah. you get a lot of spaces now. We don't have to count that again. We don't have to count it again. Oh, that's right. Uh, yes, it's still me. Um, I did, I did, I did. God bless it. I really messed that up. I should have. Okay. You good? Nah. Yeah, that's it. I'm good. I pass. All right, I will do one more. You pass again, I assume? Yeah. Okay, I pass. Okay, start there. So that'll come up. That's a two. And that'll come up. That's my bluff, but I get one free one from the fortress. So. We'll do these two, then we'll go do down and do the uh, do the big one. Okay, so you're two up top, Rolling. hitting on fives and sixes? Fives and sixes. That's a hit. That's a hit. Okay, done. Yep, sure is. Uh, we'll do this one. Or I get a one. single, five and six. Nope. Now let's go do the big one. Whew. I sent Big Bertha and another one. Is that going to be 11? Uh, that is, in fact, an 11. So that is five for you. Uh, no, four first with Big Bertha. Big Bertha spending the points. Fives and sixes hitting the fort. Oh, come on. Three of them down to a one. Golly, glory to Rome. Ew, let's go. That hurt. Now, I feel like we checked this, but I cannot remember. That hits before. That hits before. Yep. Ouch. Yes. Belfort. Choo. Get those dirty pieces. Yes. Out. All right. So and then we're I get, hitting on then eight I get, now. I get one more. Show me a five or six. Nah, nah, it's fine. Eight. That'll be four and four. Beautiful. Fives and sixes. One. There we go. Five. Woo. That's a little bit better. Okay. <coughs> Take that off. It'll become this. That's better. All right. Moving into combat. All right. So hold on. Step. These come off. Those are mine. Then, yep. There. Uh, let's see. What about you? So use? there are three combat spots. Yep. I will start with this one. Okay. Would you like to retreat or reinforce? Um. You only really have one option to go to. So. I know. I am aware. No, we'll fight. Okay. There's one of those times where I have four dice and you have one. <laughs> That's okay. Fives and sixes. There's one. Got it. Damn it. So, down to three, break out here. Uh, we'll move to the fortress. Okay. Initiate combat. Uh, same thing. Because honestly, 
the reason I'm willing to sacrifice these, even though they're ones, is I get to see what these are. That's so, a 10. Well, hold on. Uh, that was a three. Three. Okay. Technically, they, they do stay down until yeah. the end of my, or no, right. sorry, the reconnaissance ones stay down. That right. one goes, anyway. All right. All right, 10 to three. Oh, here's your. No, you're not gonna lend me any ear dice, so I'll just roll no, five. No, I'm not. I, I'll roll five twice. One. One. One, and you know, nope, just. two, there was two. Well, was I got five. I got, I got it anyway, so. Oh, yeah, 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 that's fair. Okay. I was just rolling for fun. I got you. Oop, okay. I'll stand back up, come down here, press the assault here. Okay. So another four, another four on one. <laughs> I'm tempting my luck with these dice odds. I'm, I'm, I'm towing some sort of line. Nope. Just need one. Yes. Got it. Got it. Great. Bring it. <sighs> Feeling lucky? Yeah, let's go. Push the assault. Would you like to retreat? Uh, no. Okay, I just wanted, I wanted to give you the opportunity. 17 to 18. Woo! I'm hitting on sixes, though. I'm hitting on fives and sixes. Yeah, this this is foolhardy, but... All right, so, it's... hold on. 17 for you. Yeah, on sixes. Max of eight you can kill. So go for it. Uh, that nine. is not going to be a max. That's not good. That is two. Yeah. And I am on 18 on fives and sixes. Six. So that was how many? Two? You got two. I got it right Okay. Here. All right. And I'm at 18. Uh, max of 12. Max of 12. So average I can't of, kill them. But average of six. So I would like, I think I would like a, a, a 15. I think you'd like an 18. I mean, I'm not greedy. 11. Average. That's a six. Okay, you take two, I take six. Yep, I'll, I'll take, take two, which will that. be down to 12. And then I have three more, which will put me down to 12. Okay. Hold on. Oops. Uh-oh. I need to reorganize my blocks. Give me a second. Oh, mine are, mine are a disaster. <laughs> yeah, mine are too right now. I'm just leaving them though. So, 812. Okay, get that. Okay. All right. And that is a 12 for you. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that was... Go. Okay. Um, that's that. Now, breakout. Breakouts. Um, yeah, I'll push it. I'll push it to here. Flip that. This mm -hmm. can come off. <sighs> this one. What do I want to do with this? I'm going to move some of it. Okay. Do I have the exact block I want available? Yes. That is going to go there. Ooh, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Do I even want to bother? No. I'm actually going to decline that breakout move. Okay. And then this one I will also decline. No point in sending men to their deaths. <laughs> when I know it's coming for me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're done? I'm done. All right. All right. Penultimate action. And they do replenish after this. Yes. Your dogfighting stuff. There. Out of tokens. In there. Okay. All right. I win that one. Take it. Seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, this will be one to one. Okay. So there. And then this will be one to one or. Yep. One to one. Okay. All right. All right. And those go there. Okay. 
All right. Uh, so here. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. So right. you get it. It's a four. All right. And then again. Take your abort. Be gone. That hurt. All right. All right. Time to move. I need to make some change. Yeah, good. So. There. There. One, two, three. Yeah, let's see. Some of those can come off then. Let's see. Yeah, I'll let you. I'm going to. Yeah, keep, keep doing your moves. I'll handle the maintenance. That's fine. Allow me to roll one little thing back. It's all been you so far. Yep. If that's it, wait, there, right? He can go one, two, and cut that bad boy off from supply. So if that's the case, then this guy that was there, yeah. Oh, yeah, might as well. One, two, and do that. That makes sense. Um, So now these guys can leave into friendly hexes, right? Yep. I believe so. The other question then, 
is will they get a breakout cuz it's my own spot i will won't i if you if you completely destroy me there yes it's about the passive player the defender right. regardless of the state of the siege if you completely wipe me out there you will get a breakout maybe i just do that instead I'm so mad at myself for messing that up there. No, wait. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. These guys were here. Mm hmm I originally, yeah. Wouldn't it make more sense to go... Probably, I mean, probably. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if I don't be dumb. Um, but I don't know what to do here. such a massive risk versus that. Nope. Nope. I'll condense down. Do you need to leave one? Oh, that was there. I do. I, I in fact You do. have to leave at least one strength of one block. Yeah, you are correct. Is it? No, I think you can just leave. No, because it's enemy to enemy. I can't. Oh, right, yeah. I can't. I will, I will obviously fix this. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's just math. Why did I put the breakout move tokens over here? That's oh, so man. Oh, yeah, probably had to do this. Um, yeah. And that will come home. And then these two could move if you wanted them to. They do not. I thought, I thought they wouldn't. Um... change that up. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. So those are done, and then let's just invite you in. I think. Just gotta. Yeah. Just math, but. All right. All right, so let's see. That will be. You know what? There's no reason to leave that as it is. So, in hindsight, this is actually, oh, 
Yeah, I can still do that. That's fine. Instead, break some of those, break yeah, some of those down yeah, as you yeah, go, yeah, and then yeah. combine some of the other yeah. blogs. Yeah, so yeah, then good. that'll be... Get what, two more strength in there, one more strength in there. One, yeah, it's, one more. Is I mean, I it, mean, it, it was. Yeah. It makes a big difference. It does. Uh, Checks out. All right. So, this okay. one is there. This one is there. Correct. All right. Artillery. Yeah, buddy. All the options are just down there. There's actually no, no, no combats up here. That's okay. There's actually only three hexes down there, and I can't put into the bottommost because that it's is true. Out of supply. So, we will go. One there. I will go one there. I will go one there. I'm out of tokens. I will go there. That's a bluff. So we'll just move that out of the way. All right. I have three. And I have four. And then that is just throws a one at me. Hey, here, I'll just throw the one real quick down south. Nope. Nope. All right. There's this. Is there anything else? There's no other fortresses being contested. Okay. So. All right. You got three. Three. One. Okay. And I got four. One. One. So. Combats. A couple choices. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's go ahead and take the out of supply one first. Okay. Uh, all right. You I can't, can't do anything. I can't do anything with it, so. Yeah. Yep. So, 12. It's still 12. I'm going to roll six dice. To 16. 16. Yep. Which probably isn't going to be enough to get it done, but. Yeah, I still get my full strength in defense, but I only roll half strength on offense, so. So. I got six on sixes. Two. Hmm. And I am looking at 16. Two. On fives and sixes, 16. Can't get it done. Nope. Even if you roll perfect, yep. I'll have one left. That's pretty good. That's pretty That's good. 14, 14 on 16 is seven. Seven, this will go down to a five. Let me just find one. There's one. Boo. No breakout for me. Nope. But to be expected. Yeah. All right. And. Uh, Did you take your two? I did not. I'm cheating. Done. All right. So this is what's left. There. And now, uh, yeah, we'll go the one above it. Do you wish to uh, reinforce? So I can reinforce from there. Could also retreat. You also could retreat. For either way, it is one logistic point, sir. I'll spend a logistic point of retreat to here. You get a break out. Okay, I do. Oh, and now I have choices. So now, that could be as many as 15. Because the reason I say 15 is that one, this one can't, but that one could. Now, breakouts can be split up, correct? Mm -hmm. It's a normal move. You just move slower, and there's some rules That's about That's the it. last combat we're having, regular. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, you pushing it? Well, we will go there for sure. Yeah, that, that, that happens regardless of this combat. You have to decide whether or not you want to fight this, though. Front line, front line. Front. I'm okay with all of this, except, but do I push it is the question. Well, sitting here doesn't make sense. No, definitely move, but. 
Or don't. So don't where like do we move to? This is hard. I think that's the right answer, isn't it? All right, I need to break one down. Well, are you declining this combat? Oh yeah, we're not, we're, I don't, Because uh. that doesn't happen until you make this choice. And if you move in there, it's already contested, so there's no breakout combat. Oh, so there's no. Oh, whoa, 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 I got you. I got you. So there can't be a follow up combat. No, no fault. You can okay. Come. There's not going to be combat. Okay, I uh, will stand these back up then. Okay, so I still have. Oh, wrong, wrong block. Um, I still have the. Uh, those can break out. So there, there, there. Is that right? Done. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's tense. So uh, everything will refresh. So I will have a damage come off. I don't get to add my plane back oh, in I, yet, but. I have two damage come off. But you'd still, you don't get to add the plane back in because you do that during um, okay. production. Okay, but the damage is gone. Yeah, the only so. time, I, as far as I can tell, the only time it says you may add up to your value is during uh, spending economic points. Gotcha. Or the, the resolution in there. Okay, so that one is still unavailable. I'll just part. Okay, okay. so I got, I got this many. Your last offensive, sir. Yes. Wow, how this game has changed. <sighs> These are both like 12 or 13. <laughs> but it's fine. I'm fine with you just being up there. That's You can defend those victory points. That's, <laughs> go ahead. There's also other things going there, on. There, there are. There are. Paris is undefended. I'll put one on that. Okay. Yeah, Paris is undefended, but you, my, my boys got their feet. They ain't got no horse. They ain't got no jeep. <laughs> They got nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I want to know. I know. <laughs> what you're thinking. Uh, I pass. Things you can't hide. I pass. Boop. Make, make, make damn sure. Make sure. All right. Do you throw your zero in there at all? Nope. Two on three. <laughs> <sighs> chicken bow, chicken bow, chicken bow, chicken bow. Box cars. I got a, I got an abort. So I've sent one of your planes scattering, but aborts cancel aborts. And but a damage. So you, abort our aborts cancel. You deal me a damage. I take a damage. One of my planes gets through. Yep. I like how they do that. I like how it's not all or nothing. You generally get something, but you get punished. Like a little bit, right? Um, the Brit? No. Okay. Uh, you're right. That one. Yeah. 12. Big friends, big friends, big friends. Okay. Just because it's a friendly game? Two points, Two points each. Two points each, I know. Two points. I know. Okay. 
Yeah, I sent these this way. No, no what you did, I was doing a little happy I dance. Know. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. Yeah, I needed them here and not here. Let's resolve these in the most interesting order. All right. Yeah, this really is. Trying to be bored. Uh, it says, great to see y'all playing this. I really thought it was overlooked when it came out a few years ago. Really fun game. Uh, I will go one, two. They are not out of supply, to be clear, because... All of this is mine. Yeah. And back to England. Which, technically, I need one more, but it's fine. There you go. I need one there. Uh, this one could have gone there, because I don't need that one anymore. Okay. Um, yeah, because these are all touching an enemy, so... Uh, all right. This one will move this way and split. Uh, <laughs> this one will go split a bunch. Okay. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. Uh-huh. Let's see. Hey, Andreas. Just saw you hopped in there. One. One, two. One, two. One, two. And I'm fine with you actually doing that because we're not going to do a strategic reorganization. This way it's just easier for you to count. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to. And then I'll send the other two remaining values up there. That block is completely disintegrated. Which now that means I can take some of these off. This one. Well, this I was one, just saying that way one. you can count them. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Right? Because that's three, six, nine, ten, so that's 11. Everything over here done. Now I'm down here. Um, so right now you are at 11. The, the threshold for, I uh, lost my point there, 12 to 14 is one point. Yeah, so if I can get one more, one and more. hold all these come scoring, yep. then I would only score one point. I don't see how you win. Oh, I don't think I do. I'm just trying to lose by as little as possible. That's fair. What I need you to have probably done is upgrade something over here into cavalry and go. Just like slowly stockpile some cavalry up here, and then the moment you overcommit this way, send them. Too many for you to deal with. Hopefully I can get in through the fortress before you can get there, and then just keep hammering the resupply. Right, yep. But no, I, no, I, I don't believe I can win, but I think I can play out in an honorable fashion. That is fair. Um... I will go I'm right here. This is sorry. I'm trying to work down the line you're, procedure. You're There's totally so fine. many. There's so many. Totally so fine, many books. Uh, this guy go here. There's your twelfth. There's my twelfth for now. Um, if you push one more, you're on the cusp. No, you got to get nah, to fifteen. I'm I'm satisfied with how that's been done for me. Okay. Um, I'll push this to here. That's yours. Yeah, that'll flip. I'll push this, one, two. I'll push this, one, two. Hey, that, that, that was a big number. Yeah, uh, I, it I, it I had it, it, two digits, two that. digits. Yep. But which was the first digit? Mm -hmm. um, now I'm on this one. One, two. Hmm. Come on, get your feet wet. This block is going to break. I'm going to send that over there, and I'm okay. going to keep this here. Mm -hmm. This block will go one, two. I just, I can't, I can't get over there. I know. I, well, I could pull something to here, which no, is... No, you can't. From here. One, two. One. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that you could. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, which, I stand corrected. That's the plan. One, two. 
yeah, big artificial balloon of territory, but you're not likely to put push back. Some of it, sure. All of it, maybe. I think I'm denying you a point. Uh, I can't break these with what I have up here. Uh, they both, this one, maybe. Uh, if I had allocated differently because it sure. doesn't have the fortress, but I've made right, I've yeah. made I've made the moves and I'm happy with it. So okay. done my movement. All right. So now Artie. Yes, Artie. Which it's all back. Okay, so where is combat? So we have nothing. Or, no, there's this. If I choose to press it. Well, I can. On your turn. I, well, you can shoot now. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can fire. Point. You can fire so artillery. There, now, sure. there. That's it. No, here. Oh, yeah. Those three are the only three. Yep. No, I saw that one. That stays down. I pass. I pass. All right. So, we'll do my boring one first. I have two there. Oops, there we go, two, okay. Just two, fives and sixes, not fun, lame. Uh, go do Big Bertha. All right. Spend the uh, point. So, Big Bertha here is, let's see, oh, get that, there you go. So you are looking at four, then three on fives and sixes. Yep, so four, Big Bertha spent the point. One. One goes right on the fortress. Goes to three. And then I'll roll my three on sixes. Yep. All three. Wow. Well, at least I get the swing. Well, so yeah, you one of, the, one of those is gonna come off the fortress, the other two come off the guys. So, three. One. Okay. So. He pings one, so you hit three. One there, so, two on the blocks. Or, or we'll just do that. Do you get to choose? No. Or am I thinking of infantry combat? No, you're completely right. Okay. No, trust me, you're right. Okay, I, I believe you. And now that's eight down here. Yeah, go ahead. Get. Go on, have fun. Roll yourself some dice, make yourself feel better. Three. Sure, you get two more. Yeah. Four. Four. Sure. Great. It's just fine. It's principle. He was, he, he's, he's still there. He's hanging out. <laughs> All right. So, uh, any combat? Are you? Yeah, we'll start with this one. Okay. Where I'm pulling out here. Would you like to reinforce uh, or? Let me see. I think, let's see. We're talking this one. Yep. I think I will spend the point. And I can retreat to here, correct? Yes, you just have to combine up some blocks. I'm okay with that. Okay. So there, and I will change that. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, good. I got a breakout. You get a breakout. And are you pressing here? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, hold on. There we go. All right, what do you got? 12. One. That's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you got there, like as far as why I couldn't take any troop damage. Yes. Yeah, ah. Mm. I have no troops to lose. I trust you. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Uh, this is twelve, so I'll do this twice. Not yet. There it is. All right. Crushed him. No. Bink. Breakout move. That'll flip to me. I will not press that combat. <laughs> okay, all right, that, that seems wise. All right, breakout moves. So two breakouts, 
you have one option here and you have one option here. Well, you could do multiples, but you get the idea. I will decline this one. Oh, really? Wow. Not even coming into... Interesting. Okay. I suppose I could. I mean... The, oh, li no. the, line, the line's already broken. Yeah. I'm not going to get another chance to move. That's true. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. Why not? A little bit of pressure, but I'll take it. That's fine. And uh, I got you. Yeah, yep. that, that's mine. Whatever. I might as well make you deal with it. I have plenty up here, though. So, uh, ah, you could punch through. I could. There is that. No, I'll sit. I'll sit on it. Actually. Okay. All yeah. Right. All right. That's fine. Original one. Uh, this breakout move. <sighs> yeah, I'll be moving some moving some stuff over here. So to be clear, just uh, let's go ahead and just do some math here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One more, and I score zero points. <sighs> yeah, but you get a you still get a turn. I do. So I don't get a turn. I don't necessarily want to overextend. Yeah, you do. Okay, here's what I'll do. This is gonna get broken down. Okay. I'm gonna send that there. Okay. I'm going to send this here. Mm -hmm. I got you. And then I'm going to leave that there. All right. And you're done? And I'm done. All right. Here we go. I think, I think we've eclipsed the, uh, the invention stream yeah. that I was on. See, I, the funny thing is, is like this is... It feels, it doesn't feel that long. It does not feel as long as that stream, no. Um, all right, so this is... Thanks for making it, Tyler. Yeah, it's been, um, it's been a lot of fun. It's been tense. And you know, we're at the point now, and I think we can agree, I'm not going to win. Right. But again, I talked about it earlier. I'm just trying to lose by as little as possible. There's still strategic decisions and interesting stories to be told, which I like. I, so. What do I care about? I will go where planes. You know what? Actually, I will go there. That makes sense. And I will go there. Zero. Okay. Zero. So um, that was a bluff. That's fine. And one to one. One That's to one. It. Okay. <sighs> oh, doesn't count. Sorry about that. Turn him. There you go. Four. Wall. Nope, yes. so you get it. And that is here? Yep. It's a four. Four. Okay. Okay. Now movement. Oh boy. One. Yeah, that makes sense. We, we didn't, we need One. These. I'm gonna. That was from Yeah, mine. I know, but whatever. Um, there. Actually, this one will have come down this way. Hmm. Um, two. Hey, Kurt. Welcome. Oh, hey. All right. How you doing? Great game, by the way. Well done on this. That's still yours. There, yes, I can. Yeah. But um, but um, da -da 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 -da. one, two, three. There, that will go. It's a bunch of yeah, but that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna put it here just as that's, that's the fine. one that matters. <laughs> uh, 
he came in from there. He can't reach. So that's... I mean, maybe I'll get lucky. See, the only thing, the only downside to this right here is this feels gamey now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right, because I know the game's ending, so now I'm just gobbling points, and that just feels... Yeah. And so it could be different if it was closer. Like we, I'm not going. I would never leave this part of France. Yeah, with the, the Marne. Uh, your your British deception block here. It's not deception. It's, it's still, quite effectively. It's yeah, a it's a one. Yes. Uh, so so honestly, I'm not going to fight any of those. You know what? In hindsight, no, I'm going to play this genuine. I'm going to bring it like this, there, there. I'll probably. I think what I'm going to do. This makes sense. This yes. absolutely makes sense. Because that's just points. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Um, but I'm not going to do, just because it's the scenario and I know that, like, the game's not ending. Like, the war wouldn't the, end. The war's, we end on the Christmas truce anyway. So, yeah, right. You know. So, yeah, no, that doesn't feel right to me. So I think we'll call it good there. Sure. And honestly, there's only two battles that matter to me. Uh, is it this one and this one? <laughs> no, actually, well, this is principle. Yeah, that. Um, so now it's artillery. Mm. And, oh, I guess I guess that one too, actually. So I will go one there. Pass. Yeah. And I will go... Well, actually, no, sorry. I'll, I'll yeah. respond, I'll yeah, respond. No, I'll yeah, go there. Fine. All right. Okay, so we'll do the, the twos. And you have no fort. So fives and six is one. Nothing. Okay. So that goes down. Okay. And then over here, there is just straight up two. Okay. Fives and sixes. Nope. Done. Terrific. All right. So I'm curious, so we'll start there. Sure. Unless you wish to bug out. Ah, uh, no. no okay. That's fine. Oops. There. I don't have much of a force. We share that in common. <laughs> Four to one. That's what it, see, that felt right to me, so. Go down swinging. Yes. Yeah, it, it did. Uh, you, 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 uh, no, you hit that. No, we we leave the horses. Yeah, Come we on. are. There and you go. get break up. Okay. So the breakout, then I will go ahead and bring them this way. Mm -hmm. um, do you wish to bug out? Well, we wouldn't quite get there. Do you want to resolve either of these? Oh, good point. Good it, point. Kind of, it, does, it doesn't matter. Mechanically, it's fine. It's all the same, but yeah, I know. we'll follow through. We'll go here. Sure, yeah. I'm not, I'm not bugging out of anything. Okay. So. Five. Eighteen. Let's go. What do you need on fives and sixes with eighteen? Uh, Ten. Uh, 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 sorry, even less than that, a nine. Wait, you have five? Yeah. An eighteen? Yeah, nine. Got it. Got it. Uh, I will respond with five. Swing it on the way out. Two. Down to ten. And that gets a breakout. And I just want to finish this one because... You want to try. I, uh, <laughs> Fourteen to nada. Can you roll? I, I mean, it's, it's impossible for... It is, it is. There you go. There you go. So Goodbye, buddy. You did so good. He, he did. He did. He occupied that force for a You while. could break out as well, but I don't think it matters. It doesn't there. So this is going to go... You can't... Oh, actually... You can't reach any new Plan 17 spaces with it. It doesn't, so. but I just want to put stress. Sure. There we go. Strasburg, I hear, is beautiful. Oh, I mean, time of year. I'd lose about here. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then here. There he is. There you go. Three to one. Nope, he survives and is pissed about it. Let's go. All right, there we go. So then, scoring. Uh, strategic reorg, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's the end. Yep. Scoring. Uh, I lose one, you gain one from this. Yep. So that goes down, that goes up. Yep. Keep that, keep that. I score one from this. Yep, got you. I score one from this. Yep. And then everything else, all the points that I get otherwise are is reducing denying my, you points. So and I, I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
plus. I already gave you this one. This one. Is that plan 17? Yep. Okay. So one more. One more. Beep. And then here, how many do you have out here? Um, I took that one. No, that's contested. Oh, okay. it is. I no, not. I did not take that. You are correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. Zero points. Yes. So sixteen to five, I win. But whatever. Yeah. All right. Whew. So. All right. Um, do we get to see the CP forces at the end? Uh, I'll just. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know what? Let Let's go ahead and bust this out. So here, hold on. Um, I'll do my I'll do my favorite piece on the whole board first. Okay, uh, hold on. Let me see. I think it's this is a deception. Absolutely, block. it yeah, is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my other deception block is up here, just okay. to, just to take them off. Okay. Board. All right. Uh, I actually might have and one here. There you go. So uh, my final status up here, just working my way down the board. Yeah. Uh, the eighteen. Uh, the 18 British reinforcements rolled in and they just decided to hold Calais and Dunkirk. Yes. So I decided to just try to fence them in. So that's a six there and a six here. And by the way, um, this you could have taken. Oh, I'm... I, no, 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 no. I only have five here. Right. And a deception thinking you would not go for the fort, you would go for the easier one, so I have the 15 there. I figured so. if I could balloon out and take all this, yeah. it would be worth more than those points, which it was, because I was. ultimately did it not... Totally, yeah, if if, I, had, swing. if yeah. I had tried this, yeah. failed, you could have busted through the other way and started taking these back. That I've, is true. All the rest of these, it's a cordon. These are all ones. This yeah. is a three, this is a I four. Expected. This out of uh, This out of uh, out is of a supply. two. That's okay. a deception. My big reinforcement blocks at the end were all hitting here. I should have sent them south. Uh, yeah, when, once you split, I think that was that was kind of that was probably your mess up. I, I think here. the biggest From mistake there I made is moving was that. to there instead of there. If you'd moved to there, that may have changed what I did. There. Yeah, it, once you did that, I was like, okay, I can take this. Yeah, up. I wouldn't. I don't think it would have won me the game, but I, I, I would have that. knocked you back yeah. five points, maybe six points. But um, otherwise, just an so. even spread. I, I because I had to spend so long doing this. Yeah. I couldn't punch through before that big British fort is because yep. I was, I was gonna try for the same thing I did in our pre-play. I was gonna sit on him because then the British forces have to come in down there. Yep. They're worth points for me. I was gonna hammer through. I got held up for one and a half actions too long right yep. here, yep. and that crushed me. Um, otherwise, it was the balancing. I think something I did. Uh, <laughs> oh my, get those in the fight. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Um, uh, I, I, I played too much wide. I tried to play the whole line. Yes. As opposed to creating hammers to strike right. with, which something you did. You often left ones sprinkled and then created hammer here, hammer here, or hammer up here. Which... I, I, blame, I blame Kurt mm. for that because he was like, hey, punch, get breakthroughs and then use your cavalry to harass. Yeah. Um, now, to be clear, now, now um, I, I, I can't pronounce the... Uh, uh, it's in Cyrillic. Yeah. So, so but uh, said, oh, I'm glad seeing how long it is. Keep in mind, we're talking through all of our stuff and we're oh. show Like, realistically, if you and I were to sit down off camera, this is probably three hours. Well, it might still take as long. I might have a beer while we're playing. But yeah, yes, that's... Uh, whatever. <laughs> but that, no, the I, point is, I, for this scenario, it's three hours. Yeah, I think this was artificially inflated by us communicating, talking, taking yeah. our time with some things. Yeah. If we're just hammering through it heads down, I think you could shave an hour off the top of it. Easy. Mm. Because also, even more from the the, the explanation, the first yeah, round we Yeah, because we're, we're not, we're not so, explaining so, exactly. Yeah. It's so slow walking through every step. But we do that because we want to convey... Yeah, absolutely, which was more important. Right. And yeah. like... The game, the, the the time of the game doesn't get slower, I think, as you go along, but the pace of what's actually happening, the actions stay the exact same, but when you hit trench warfare, assaulting is so much more difficult. Yeah. So, it, obviously... The, the, the defense has a huge advantage. Yeah, and we knew that we were going to be ending, so, yeah. you know, I'm not going to make any claims about sending my troops different ways, but I knew we were ending. Right. I was trying to deny points up here, win by, you know, lose by as little as I could if I knew we were going to keep going. I absolutely would have done things differently yeah, because yeah, I was about to entrench. Yeah, so. right, right, right. Yeah, no, um, I think this does a really, really good job of modeling kind of the, the, the pacing of how World War One broke out. Yes. And the 
angsty decisions for both sides is to and so that's ultimately kind of what I want out of this and it's fun and the the, the fog of war the deception in yeah. here, not just from the deception blocks but the whole breaking up building down and, oh and it is so good and there is so much there that I can learn and explore still yeah. that I really want to get into. Also, because there's some times where it's like, oh, we would just, oh, I have all these blocks, I'll break it down. Well, how can you express a 10? A 10 could be 2, 2, 6. A 10 could be 10. A 10 could be 10 deception, deception. A 10 could be a bunch of different things, oh, right? It's and so it's how good. to play with it's it and so how you yeah. influence the other player. And then, not only, I, I imagine once you get to a certain point in this, then it becomes a matter of managing your force pool. Like, okay, yeah. I know I only have so many of these. I need to make sure that I save one so that if this gets depleted or yeah. whatever. And, like, I one thing that I overlooked for the uh, logistics points was uh, fixing my forts. Like, mm -hmm. Verdun got knocked down, and ha boosting that back up would have been good. Um, I probably should have done that down here in Belfort. If I could have, and yeah. yeah. So and and again, didn't really spend any points on techno uh, technology advancements because we know the game's ending before yeah. it comes into. Play. I was trying to plan to, but things changed my plan. Right. So. So yeah, and now I just I honestly, it, I want to take some time and and play the whole thing. I, I really do because having to balance all of that and anticipate. Okay, I'm going to need that. I think is is the game only grows better from yeah. that standpoint, not worse. The more, the more you it's see of it. It's going to be long. I mean, it's, it's three of that, so it's a full day if you're going to do that. Um, yeah, no, the whole thing in one day, I think it's a full day. Yeah. Like, it is a full day. It's, take a break for lunch. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and come back. I think that's what it is. It's, it's, it's morning till dinner. Yeah, absolutely. But... I'm okay with that. Yeah, the sweep is the sweep is great, and it's yeah. also you know, other incredibly long games. Never you know, I have no experience with some of the heavier train games. Something like I don't know, Ti Four. That is a whole day, yeah, that's, right? That was like eight nine hours. Eight nine so, hours yeah. for six players. Right. It's just the two of us here, right? You know, and everybody and the herd, but right. it's a lot. That's that's an intense game. It that's is. Such an it's... That's such an experience to do to do the whole thing, two people. It's, yeah, it's. It's daunting, but it's cool. It is, but I guess when I have an entire week of Mr. President I'm looking uh, at next week, that, that seems yeah not that bad, right? Totally. So, yeah. Overall, uh, I think the, the theme, as far as the, the story that this tells, uh, as far as mimicking history in a lot of regards... Yeah, get it out of the park. I, you know, I liked it because, like you said, it, it, it's mimicking history. It's the, it's the, it's the sweep, not the fine brushstrokes. You know, right. I don't need to worry about, oh, Passchendaele's over here or this siege or that siege, but the, the how for me it's specifically the Eastern Front, how that's abstracted out. And if you play the whole game or you play a scenario that involves it, it's something else to manage. I yeah. got to think about it. It's a bonus for me, but I have to take care of it. You know, it's. It's like that. I, I think I think it does a great job of that and not being so beholden to the specifics that the story we just told doesn't get lost. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, I I really want to see how the Eastern Front works out. Yeah. Like I wanna I wanna see that mechanism and and that, that story uh, explained as we play. So good stuff. Uh, really nice that Kurt stopped by, so thanks, appreciate that. Thanks to everybody that hung out with us today. Hopefully we made your work day a little bit quicker, a little bit better. Yeah. Made your meetings a little bit easier. Th big thanks to this guy for taking time off to do this yeah. on a Friday afternoon. This was this is good stuff, man. Yeah. So if if you want, we can we can we can run it back at some point or over the course of a couple of days or We got we got time. We Nothing do. but time. Right. So Big thanks to everybody. If you all enjoyed it, uh, go check it out. It's on P500. Um, so I think it, 100 more orders and it gets reprinted. Yeah, it was so. somewhere in the 300s when we looked at it. Yeah, yeah. So, so go check it out over on GMT's website and uh, let them know you enjoyed the show if, if you enjoyed the show. Time for the Christmas truce. Right. Time for the Christmas truce. Uh, so that's Ooh. it for the week until tomorrow or uh, Sunday, Sunday morning. 
we do uh, Mr. President from Sunday through Saturday, every day, 10 a.m. Eastern. So hopefully you all join me for that. Really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, Ooh. consider supporting the show over on patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. Literally, it's helping keep the lights on. So certainly would appreciate that. I'm Edward. Kyle. All right. Well, hey, good game. Good game. Good stuff. That was fun. That was enjoyable. I'll see you all on Sunday. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey, and in the end, I mean, the right side won. Oh, I mean, so, saying, right oh side. get off your high horse. <laughs> I am French. I live on oh, a high horse.